and welcome to Dragon's Dogma. Hello and welcome to Dragon's Dogma. Part one. Mini Talos just went off. Good job. That's been a while since that went off. Shut up, Mini Talos. Okay, I'm back now without a smaller version of me. Um, but Dragon's Dogma Part One. I am really excited to get into this. Uh, I hope you're all going well, by the way. Um, but I'm very, very excited to get into this because I get to be Jeff again. The last couple of games we've been playing, I haven't been able to be Jeff per se. They've been named characters and such nonsense as plot created by other people. But I get to be Jeff now. Um, so we get to create a Jeff in it, and that's going to be fantastic. And everyone was like... When Dragon's Dogma came up, a lot of people were just like, it's actually this really great game, just underrated. Um, hello, Mini Talos and Normal Talos, Barry. Thank you. Um, but yeah, everyone was like, it's this great game that kind of got overlooked, and I'm really interested, because apparently it took a lot of inspiration from Oblivion and Fable 2. So I really, really liked Oblivion, and I super loved Fable 1. So I'm interested to see, you know, what those two things inspired in this game. But... Let us go, let me shut Pretzel up, and I'll bring us to the game, I think, hi, let me know if the camera ends up being in an angle that is annoying, I think it was high when I was looking at it, but we should have, there it is, okay, so this is also another controller game, um, also just let me know about the volume, I should actually have you up as a chat if I want to talk to any of you. Me asking questions and then puts you down there. And hello, Pete. How are you going? I hope you're going good. Fable 2. Uh, I want to play Fable 2 so much because I've heard that it just improved on Fable 1. So, Fable is just such a great game. The main menu. Let's let's get started. Um. But yes, how are you going, Pete? Are you a fan of Dragon's Dogma? We're just starting. And we can get a Jeff. By selling a new game, your save data will be... Yeah, well, I don't have anything to care about there. This will erase your old save. Proceed, murder it. Select a desired game difficulty. What are... I, easy, normal... Okay, we just have easy mode and normal mode. Let's go normal mode. There's not even a hard mode. I guess I have to beat the game first. And then low painted dizzy. How are you going? You going good? Been trying to pop in and out. Um, med problems mean things were dicey. Happy to hear, uh, to be here for this one. Never heard of the game, but you're down for the journey. Fantastic, Pete. You've come just in time to save it. I'm sorry to hear that you're having some medical stuff. I hope that is sorting itself out. That's never a fun thing to deal with. But welcome to the start of the journey. Uh, pursue the dragon. So I believe this is, um, I believe this is like a tutorial introduction and then we get to make our character after this. We're just playing as this person to learn. Press start to bring up the pause menu. That's good. I never would have guessed that one, but thank you, game. Um, a full map quest information. You know what? I actually should, instead of mocking the game viciously, I should read what it says, because it will be helpful. Um, sheath. Heavy attack, light attack. Oh, I can jump. Good, 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 good. I love jumping. Jumping is one of my favorite things. Um, light attack, heavy attack. Examine. The bones are still more soldiers. How How's the volume, by the way? Is that... Let me just have a quick look. I just... Do that controls. Wait. Ah, there we are. Okay. Um, you've been better here to hang in and see the rest of this game. I can help and uh, possibly answer some questions for early game, but you never completed it. Well, good to know you can help with the early stuff painted, Dizzy, and perhaps we'll be able to find the stuff that you didn't complete at the end. What made you end up dropping it? Was it just a case of other games took your fancy, or did something in the game actually make you go, I shan't be finishing this one? Um... A little, a little lower, maybe by, uh, 25%? Okay, excellent. Yeah, it is pretty, pretty loud, isn't it? Um... I'll just do what I always do, and I'll just shout louder at you all. Yes. This is math, and I have done that. That's close. 74 is a good... Do you think 69 will be... Ooh, if we go funny internet number. Do you think this will be great for, like, later on, when anyone else joins the stream and we have to change the sound or something? This is good. And hello, Punisher! How are you going? I hope you're going well. Let the chaos reign, indeed. And save... Save changes. Okay. Funny internet number. Always funny internet number. That's the go-to. My favorite thing was when I was loading this up today, I saw somebody on my friends list in Steam had recently played this game for 69 minutes, and that's the funny internet number of minutes, and I was like, that's great. I'm so happy. 
<laughs> I'm very easily entertained. Um, this game is uh, a long and a fairly large with the areas, and I just stopped after a while. Probably got distracted with another game. Oh, fair enough. So it's just one of those things where it... I guess that's the big thing with really big RPGs. It's easy to accidentally mid-game sort of wander away into something else. Um... <laughs> All that trip mine. So, okay. Oh, God. Okay, and suddenly orchestra. Oh, it's a dragon. Hi. How are you? You're very big. Can I... Oh, he talks! Oh, no. Mind the edge immediately. I just literally went to walk off the edge then. Oh, my good lord. Um... Going good, got your gourmet microwave burritos and can of Pepsi for the night. Excellent! <laughs> gourmet burritos. Oh! Okay, excellent. Goblins are the way to go. What flavor burrito is it out of interest? Is it chicken? Is it beef? Is it surprise? Alright, I'm following you, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. Invoking the stone can gain you new allies known as pawns. Alright, well then let's touch it. Always touch glowing stones. It's a good idea. Oh, wow. We summoned women. Excellent. Our kind is ever ready to fight by the grace of your she... Morgana looks like the classic fairy tale witch. I'm worried. As in your progress, your adventures pawns will provide you with useful information and hints. Oh, you guys are going to try help me. I feel so bad for you, but okay. Excellent. We've got helpers now, everybody. Goblin killing. Quick hi from Pip. <laughs> and hello, Electra. How are you going? Yes, I don't know if Pip will enjoy the amount of goblin killing I think this game might end up having. Um, if they're the, the basic ones. Oh, I can tell them. Help me. Look at this. I'm making her help me for no reason. Oh, I'm your masters now. I have the control button. Help me. Help. They're ignoring me. No, she's doing it again. Haha, <laughs> I'm assuming that's like a heal spell or something. Oh, that's great. Go on. It's the beef and bean flavored. Beef and bean flavored. That's a good flavor of burrito. Hobgo. Okay, they're hobgoblins. I wonder. Hi. What's my light attack like? Oh, I can. Oh, hang on, can I? Nope, that's not me. I was looking at Saudi then. Can I? Yes! Someone stab him! I've got him! I'm hugging him from behind! Murder him for- There we go. I like this mechanic where I can pick up people and my friends can murder them for me. Look at that! That's great! Come here, I want to hug you! Hugs. And they say that a hug always helps. In this game's proof, it doesn't. Come... Could you die? I want- I didn't even get to hug him. That's just sad. Um, grab button is probably your best friend in most fights, especially for big enemies. Oh, good to know. Pa Wait, can I? How big an enemy can I grab? What's this? It's a box. Oh, I can talk to them. Are you wandering into? Where are you going, Saudi? Do you all want to go down there, or are we just? This looks interesting. It looks like an area of dead people. What? It, why are we down here? This looks interesting. It's just... Is it? I am so much bigger than her. I'm just gonna leave this little area. I don't think that's anywhere. I think the, the PCs were like, hey, what's this? Can I? It's in a barrel that's explosive. And hello, Shin. How are you going? Um, pulling an oblivion forgetting to block. No, I want to hug. That's all I want to do. I just want to hug. No block, just hug. That's all I need to do now. Um, but yeah, probably there will be no blocking in this game. Knowing me, there will be no blocking. Athlete attack and grab. Where are you wanting to go? Um, and grab doubles as climb onto giant enemies. Fantastic, so I can jump on them. Brilliant. That will be good. I do like climbing on enemies. Um... They get to, uh, to mythological size, and that's the real fun with grabbing. Ooh, interesting. Um, do you guys want to go that way? Can I? No. I want to have a look at the map. I don't think that's the way to go. I think that's just a pit, guys. 
Please stop going into pits. Why do they wander into holes? Can they get back out of there? Yes, okay. The AI in this really love to go into little holes. Well, then don't climb into... I... For once, I am being less dangerous than the AI. Like, the AI is like, look, guys, a fiery pit. Look, guys, a pit into oblivion. Let's climb into it. Let's go this way. I see what Greg meant about the Arisen. Oh, good. Um... <clears throat> Oh, hello. Oh my god! Yes! Hi. Ca and I can dash. I want to go fight. Oh my god, it's a harpy. Okay. I thought it was a really angry seagull for a second. Um, it's not. Well, like, I guess maybe they're like mythological seagulls. Snow harpies! Oh, sorry, you're very dead now. Hi, are there any more of you around here? Angry seagull ladies? Um, mythological. When tell us is the voice of reason, that's when you know it's going to be fun. I know, right? When I'm the one being like, stop what you're doing, you're all going into holes. I'm not sure if I can trick, because like normally I follow the AI around in games because I trust them. Can I? Do I have a bow? Hi, what are you doing down here? Oh, come help me, friends. Are they- do you just jump- They just jumped down the bridge. Like, these guys don't care about kneecaps or anything. Goodbye. What, me? Are you just- stop clapping at him. I assume he's not actually doing that. He's probably like- I'm imagining that that shield thing is meant to get their attention or something, but I do like the idea of him just, like, clapping at them with his shield. Good job dying! Oh yay, fire! Oh, come back. Oh no! Quincy? And Angry- uh, Oh Jesus, so much is going on. I think a couple of different things were ha- Okay, are we- The harpy or- I think it's dead. Oh my god, I can carry it! I can carry it! It's like a giant- I can carry it! Oh, this is brilliant! I have no interest in fighting anything anymore! Look at this! I have a harpy! <laughs> Why can I carry you? I can carry it! Can I carry any corpse I want? I can! Oh wait, well, not really that one. I can only hold it up. Oh, we're fighting. That's right. Sorry, I'm back! I'm doing the thing. <clears throat> They can to mess with you. I know, right, Electro? I love it. Now you got to carry it to the end. Oh my god, Punch, if I could carry it to the end of the game. Lure the harpies down and strike. Come here. I like that I'm setting her on fire. I enjoy that. Certain enemies in areas can inflict um, debilitation, such as sleep, poison, petrification, blindness. Oh, good. Can I... Can I grab you? There we go. Someone stab my harpy! <laughs> She's on fire. <laughs> Why is that so amusing? Oh, I'm coming. Icons inside your health gourd, your indicator such change status. There's just something highly amusing. I think about like the way it folds up. Oh, I can't. Are you too heavy? Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> you can carry through a couple of different enemies and things. Interesting. Just yeeting NPCs for fun. I can see why you would want to yeet NPCs for fun, because that was great. This way, sir. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the worm awaits the officer. I should be proud to guide you. My shield. Nice. Um grab my friend. Do you think that do you think because it was late? I was trying to grab it then. Do you think it actually let us Which one was my friend? It's this time it's not letting me pick my friends up. I'm just aggressively... There we go. Come with me. Come on, friend! Let's go! This is Janice. The Janice the corpse. Let's go, Janice. Do you guys like her? She's a new member of our party. She'll make a great pillow. No... Th Why? I like Janice, though, Painted Dizzy. Don't you like Janice? Oh, do you mean grab my... These chaps? 
cannot suffer the worm. Oh, I think this will be a great distraction. I mean, there was a chimera running around, so I feel like this will. No, my friend! The game ate it! Oh my god, this is cool. Look, a goat! I like this! <laughs> she already knew. I hate crap like Janice! Janice! She's gone. And this is actually very- I've got to say, the creature design in this looks really epic. Like, this has a lot more detail than I was kind of expecting. Um, I'm looking forward to stabbing it more. Can- I just pointed- oh my god, that's snake tail. Look at that, that's actually really detailed. That's cool. Grab the tail. I realized that wasn't the tail, but it was something. Let's see. Come here, snakey boy. I'm a snake. Come here, snakey boy. Oh, okay. Here's nice. This is a good spot. The snake can be cleft from the body. Okay. Oh, look, we're all on it now. How an. God, it must be annoyed with us. Oh no, she's not having- Saying the goat will seal the beast's magic. But I like the bit. Oh, its tail fell off! Hack and slash more! I'm just very aggressively hugging its flank. No, get back on it! We've taken the advent- Are you- are you sleepy? What's going on? Are you tired? You can't be tired. Oh, you're- How did you- Why I hold- No, I want to hold it. Let me- oh god. Oh, why always the crotch? I'm not even shooting and I'm imagining- I'm, I'm managing to actually attack in the crotch area. No matter what game I play, I'm very aggressively against people ever being able to reproduce again, apparently. Where? I think I'm sleepy. Can I- How- That's okay, it's almost dead. I think. It just recharged. Okay, well that's not great. Oh, Quincy, you're in trouble! Quincy, run! Run, Quince! Oh, they're all getting very exhausted. Um, there's one third Jeff through. <laughs> the goat seems to be dead. Can you, just hold on, it's fine. We'll just go, oh, my friends are going down. All my friends are taking a nap. Wow! Press B to revive fallen friends. No, I'm busy killing. I'll, I'll get them afterwards. It's fine. Okay, no, I'm sleepy now. Quickly, get up! You need more meat shields! Jeff, get up! My consciousness fades. Well, stop that. Here. Get back in here. Join the fray! Join the fray! You all must suffer alongside me. Look at that goat. It's just flip-flopping everywhere on the line. Come back. I've got hugs. Oh, wow. I brought them back just to suffer. Uh-oh. Come on. You can do it, Saudi. You can do it. Hold on a little bit longer. Do you think that heal lady's actually healing? Stand on the bottom left. Excellent. Excellent. I'm losing a lot of it very fast. Good to... Oh. How? Draw... <laughs> Please help me. Oh, no. Get back up! Get back up! You're being lazy! You're being lazy and I'm being injured because you're being lazy. Back to attacking. Go on, Morgan Morgana. I guess he's thinking her name is Morrigan. I'm pretty sure that... Wait, did Dragon Age come out before or after this? Because this was 2012 that this was released. Oh my god. St stamina waning. I just love the doppling in this game. So ridiculous. The dog piling. Oh god. Oh no, do I have... Do I have any, like... 
common hood. Milky water remains from washing, uh, consume it to recover of health and stamina. Yes. Come back! Come back! Do I have anything that's like an actual health potion? <laughs> I have a lantern. Can I... A poisons... Let's just eat it all. That's fine. Oh god. Stab it more! Look at us! We're just all on top of this guy's- Oh my god, where am I? I think I'm, I'm in the main. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> normal. I picked normal, Painted Dizzy. There were only two difficulties. Easy and normal. And I went normal. Because I thought that that wouldn't be difficult. Just normal, pretty sure. It's just normal. So the hardest difficulty would allow me to choose. I might move my microphone a bit, like, here. Let me know if you can still hear me clearly. I just moved my mic a little bit. It was just sort of blocking part of the screen. Normal is hard mode? No, don't say that. So normal is actually, like, hard in this? I thought it would just be normal. Oh, no. Have I made a grave mistake? Okay. Okay, good. I was like, interesting. I've picked French as my language, apparently. Delightful and ever, uh, ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll be fine playing it on normal. Oh, look. The harpies are back. I played on easy and found the gaming get increasingly hard. Ooh, okay. Hard by 2012 standards. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? I'm sure we'll be okay, she says questioningly. This is a cool dragon, who appears to be falling to earth. Well, look at him go. The harpies are just- the, are the harpies basically just seagulls? Because they seem to be like that, they're just around him. Being annoying, I'd imagine. Oop, the dragon's awake now. Dragon Angie. Eat them! Do it! Go on, just take a bite. There's so many of them. Oh, are you actually going to do it? There you go. This is a lot of harpies. Oh, he is. Okay, he's eating them. Excellent. You, you do you. Um, I'm almost out of the tutorial. Almost out of the tutorial. Fantastic. Should I change the difficulty? If I have the option, should I change the difficulty to easy, do you think? Or do you... People seldom vent up. Oh. Okay, so we don't, but we get to pick our character. So let's go female then. Uh, can I select the other? Please enter a name. Uh, okay. Yes. Your monocle display for players with parental controls. I just want Jeff. Uh, confirm. Are you happening here? They're okay. Oh god, no, that's okay. So, uh, do you have Jeff preset here? Come on, you have to have Jeff. Jeff's a real. There, they've got Jeff. Excellent. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is my moniker. Jeff creation time, exactly. <laughs> I believe you could probably beat it considering the games you have beaten before. Really, Painted Dizzy? Excellent. I'll take that as a sign of... You can do... We've seen you pull off some insanity before. It's fine. Um, eventually, the games just give up and let you through. Okay, so this is our build. I might use the mouse for this. It's probably going to be a bit easier. So, select a base body. I like how it tells me the weight and the, the the height and the weight. Like, why do I need to know her height and weight? Oh, and I'm on the left. We could make a teeny... Oh, we're not making a child. Why are the mage users children? Who do we want to have? Who can we have as Jet? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Futurama Snoo Snoo. Um, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, is that the one that was 2016? 
I beat the one that was 2016. I haven't done the second one yet. Um... What is that shape? Like, the stomach is flat, but really wide. That's such an interestingly odd one. Let's go this lady. She's massive. Um... Confirmed giant snoo snoo. Uh, me <laughs> um, height affects secret passages. Um, weight is how much you can carry. So there's actually- the height will actually affect secret passages. That's interesting. So if I go like giant snoo snoo lady, I won't be able to get into secret passages or something. But I can carry a bunch of stuff. Who's? So she's 175 and 70, 174. Wait, you're taller? You're taller? 175.4 and weight 70. 174.2 and weight 72. No, we'll go this one. I like this one. Um, haven't done Doom Eternal yet. Prototype beat it out in the last sub. Ah, okay, so that's the one afterwards. Yes, Prototype is the next railroad. The subs voted that one in, so that'll be the next one. Voice. No, no, I didn't. No, 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 go... Back. Oh, okay. Um, select the category I like to change. I want to go back to voice. No, no, I want. Select the category I'd like to change. Use. There we are. Okay. If I click, will you? Okay. Test voice is zero. This is a great game. Like. Not that one. Hi, this. Which one sounds the most like a Jeff? <laughs> that voice. Oh my god. Um, I gonna just hide? Okay. I think I, there was something that I saw that I could. Let's go that one. Um, <laughs> arbitrarily, I've picked that one. So, confirm, I want... I think the category would like to change. Okay. Edit more. Okay, so this is where we can edit the actual features in that. So I can probably... Yeah, so I could, yes, I could probably change the build here. <laughs> so out of curiosity, let's go really skinny. Oh, that's not too bad. Really much. It's like Zarya, but on extra steroids. Go here. <laughs> and bust size. Small. Not a huge difference. I was wondering if that would be like comically large or whatever. We'll just leave that there. Um, confirm. That's fine. Uh, okay. So, my god. We oh, we can change our stance. Timid and imposing. What's timid? Timid is leaning forward. Imposing is leaning back. Interesting. Wow, I look like I'm going to fall if I'm too imposing. Damn. 12 is where it's at. You <laughs> stand at a low star sign. How are you going? I hope you're going well. Are you guys, are you guys are voting I should change the voice to 12? And this is the stance of ladylike? Oh, I like that. So, did you know, fun fact, if you put your hands behind yourself slightly, you become a lady. But if you put them away from your body, you're a man. That's how you can tell. You're more man-like. Look how macho I am. Uh, and a low order boxer, how are you going? Honestly, bus size in this game is horrendously awful. I always go max because they're like, someone took a literal grapefruit in their shirts. Just like, bam. The, um, <laughs> it's very interesting. All the way back. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> So we'll confirm all, do you reckon all the way imposing, we're totally imposing and we're so macho. We're an imposing macho lady. I like it. Let's confirm that. That's our stance. That's how we're going to go. Uh, I don't know how in depth I feel we, I think getting into legs and in that is probably going to be, too, ugh, okay, no, that's fine. That's okay. We could go. Preset faces! Oh my gosh. I'm a man. I'm ready for war. America! <laughs> We're cosplaying American. Just waiting for games to download. What games are you waiting for to download, Starside? Hair. Oh god, there's so many. What kind of hair do we want? 
How shall we look? Wow, that's alluring. I just, shall we be this sexy? It's it's so good. Uh, no, I can't. That would be, I'd be too distracted if I was that. I'd be like, I, I just, I want to love Jeff too much. Let's, let's not pick that one. Um, <clears throat> oh, got a weekend took full of uh, TT other G's. Oh, uh, that's right, Barry. You're going to be running one tomorrow for, for a bunch of us in the Discord. So that should be quite fun. I don't know. Let's hear this. This looks like hair. Yeah, this is this is hair. That's that's what we're going with. I like that. Can I change the color? Um, do you have? Oh, there it is. Oh, good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can we go purple? I like to always make them have purple hair. That's not really purple. That's sort of purple, but more pink. I want purple. Let me, let me be purple. Hmm. All right. So, <laughs> not quite, not D&D. It's actually going to be, um, it's, um, Mutant, uh, Year Zero. It's like a completely different system. It's really, really neat. Um, <clears throat> D&D is fun, but Moon Zero I find is a bit simpler. I guess this is the closest to purple we're going to get. Oh my god, that's very orange. I don't want to go blue. This is like the most... I'm not... Where is purple? God damn it. Okay, that's fine. We'll go this. Um... <clears throat> so... We'll just go with that. That's good and... I don't know if I like it or not. Mm, I'll just hate it for the rest of the game. It's fine. I could easily keep changing it, but I shan't. Um... I think eyes are fine. I won't mess around with that. Can we give ourselves more scars, though? That would be neat. I would like to have more scars. No, hang on. More edit. Scars! Yes! Excellent! Scar me up. What's the max number? Ooh, okay. I reckon that's going to probably be a max number of scars there. Can I have this? I would like... Having a quick look. You've got that. You've got... Ooh, no. Hang on. Oh, that one! Yeah. I can barely see them. Oh, they're there. They are there. Hang on. Color adjustment. Makeup, skin, skin color. Oh, I guess I could like, mm, that probably won't work. Ooh. Oh, I can have purple. So you do have purple. You do have purple in your list of things. You've just chosen not to give me purple here. Or that's fine. Makeup, no, no makeup. No makeup at all. Um, <clears throat> oh, wants to, <laughs> I don't know why, but TTRPGs wants to change to troglodyte. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Modern Warfare, uh, State of Decay 2, and Elder Scrolls Online, all very chonky games. Ah, so you're like, you're waiting for a, quite a while for them to come down. I was just hoping that there might be a way to make the scars more noticeable, but I don't think there is. I'm pretty happy with this, Jeff. Um, I'm, I don't think there's anything else we really want to change. Like, no, we went, we went into that before. Uh, legs, arms, torso, yeah, no, all of it's just that. So I think this is our Jeff, everyone. Um, <clears throat> it's so much fun and you can, uh, do so much with it. The, the companion app helps out a lot too. The amount of anime stuff you can do is outrageous. Oh, this is the Lancer game. I don't, I, Barry was talking a little bit about it to me, um, earlier, but I don't know too much about it myself. All right, well, no, I screwed it up. I didn't mean to do that. No! How can I? <sighs> no, there. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank God. Thank God. And this is it. I want this. Edit basic information. What's that? Oh, gender build voice. No, that's okay. We'll go. All right. This is the Jeff we have now created. I am going to confirm and let's get into it. <clears throat> It is Jeff time, everyone. Confirm. Yes, I'm ready to play. Let's go. We're playing on normal difficulty, which is apparently accidentally hard difficulty. Today, like every day, ways that I didn't get time to read that. Imagine it said that today is like every day and Jeff was born and we all love it. That's exactly what that said. Okay. Oh, children. What a disappointing start. That's fine. I'm sure something will happen to them. Oh, is that me? I'm here! With my hair looking much more red than I thought. Oh, hey, old Jeff. Jeff is back! I'm so happy we're back to Jeff. 
<clears throat> Jeff has uh, definitely seen some fights. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, his face. Oh, you must really like me. And hello, Lunch Snake. How are you? Oh, hang on. Sorry. I like her. Hang on. Thank you so much for the resub, Lunch Snake. I super appreciate it. A whole year, indeed. Dear Lord. A whole damn year. It's a cutscene, and I want to. But thank you so much. I do super appreciate. Obviously, have fun having no ads and the emotes and everything and, and all of that. But thank you. A whole year. God. It still blows my mind away that I've been doing, like, streaming long enough for someone to have subbed to me for a year. Like, damn. And the dragon comes. <clears throat> Excellent. <clears throat> The dragon is back. Everyone is panicking. I like the dragon so far. He's neat. <clears throat> he stopped the children having fun and that's what's really important. Oh no, our dock! That probably takes ages to make! Oh, and it would have had like little sea life around the dock, like the, the barnacle things that grow on them. And he's just destroyed the habitat. Don't destroy the habitats of ocean creatures, dragon. Oh good, I'm being brave and getting a sword. Go, Jeff! Go! <coughs> this won't end badly for you. <clears throat> I really like the dragon design, though. Feels very spiky. Oh, you are all melted. You are... Very... Press X will draw your primary weapon. We just... What's that? The first NPC Talus likes and she uh, she's about to get eaten. I'm like, look, I like that one! Uh, <clears throat> yes, you didn't miss too much at all, Lunch Snake. We literally have just created the character. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel to this. So, are you a big fan of Dragon's Dogma? I'm very excited because we've got Jeff back at last. This is the last part tutorial. This is the last part tutorial? Okay. Let's... Come here, dragon. Challenge the dragon. I'm going straight... Can I climb on you again? I would like... Can I... Just on your foot, here. I can't climb on... Oh, no, I can! Yes! Oh. Oh, no! Bye, Jeff. That didn't go too well for Jeff. Oh! The dragon is- it's like a little thorn and it's... Paw? Hand? Would you call it a dragon paw? Oh, wow. <clears throat> he does not like that Death I did that at all. is whimsical today. Fantastic, Corvus. I will get to that one in just a moment. Today's interesting fact took a bit of a strange turn, actually. Okay. Oh, Jeff. And then it goes back to character creation. It's like, create a new character. Oh no, don't impale me! Oh. That's actually. For a second, I thought it was about to like rip the clothing, and I was like, what? Oh my heart! I need that! It has the blood pumping abilities! Don't take my heart! You're real, you're getting claw marks all over it! Now you're enchanting it! I didn't. Jeff, look, the fact that you're still alive, like something's going on. Oh no, okay, maybe you're dying. Now you're eating my heart! I need that! What am I meant to do? Journey through your mouth to get it back? He just lands, enchant- like rips my heart out of my body, enchants it, eats it, and then he buggers off. <clears throat> oh god, he's about to steal your- 
<laughs> He's about to steal my heart. Am I? I'm assuming I'm not dead. I mean, if we go back to character creation, I'll change my hair color, but that's, you know, I would prefer not to be dead. The chick I like's back. Oh, nice. I got another scar. And that is so tastefully ripped clothing. <laughs> like, very tastefully ripped, isn't it? I've also heard that I can ship characters in this, so, so far I'm shipping my character with hot peasant girl who saved me. Um... And then there's Chunky! He's dead. Uh... Take up arms, Johnny. Oh goody. Look at my abs though. Damn. Those are the weapons we- those aren't weapons, those are fossils. Why does this house even have these? Who's got these really old swords? Chief, it is time for you to begin your journey as a Risen, but before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you'll need to prepare. Excellent! Okay. <clears throat> It's a really fun game, and I really hope the sequel keeps the cli um keeps the climbing in the classes. Is the sequel coming out soon, Lunch Snake? Is that like planned for pretty soon? Um, apparently the dragon needs my heart more than I do, but god damn it, I I guess you've got a point, Punisher. As Lunch Snake has said, Jeff is a bit of a heartless bastard. Um, and game over. Uh, okay. Um, Jeff at the bar, like I got these scars when a dragon came and took my heart at the beach. That's a great pickup line, isn't it? Like if you don't send them flying because they think you're crazy. You'll at least have someone who's happy to listen listen to your delusions. That'd be a great pickup line. If someone in a bar said to you, I lost my heart because a dragon ate it, would you stay and chat to them or would you run? Um, <clears throat> when you are, but makes it sound like a romantic story. Oh my god. What if the, the, the character I can ship is the dragon and I need to win my heart back from the dragon and the journey is actually I needed to love myself all along and that's actually the secret message of dragon's dogma is self-love. Um, I find that, um, Dag is the best for, uh, speed and climbing stabbing. Oh, okay. So, it sounds like this has got quite a few things in it. The sequel was only just announced, like, a month ago, so probably not until at least 2023, probably later, would be your guess. Ex the funny thing is, I've now got into the habit of picking up games that are getting sequels relatively soon or get announced. So, that is fun to hear. Oh, look, a person's un- Are you dead? No, you're unconscious-ish or sleeping and I'm stepping on you. Take a weapon. <clears throat> okay, so our vocation uh, determines your basic attributes, where um, wieldable equipment and skills. Out of curiosity, what did you all go when you picked here? Let's have a look. So we've got the fighter, that's sword, shields, basic vocation, a melee specialist which attacks and counter attacks, able to cut through any resistance. That sounds like Jeff. Um, hmm. And hello, Ozzy. How are you going? Um, is that hand sanitizer in your pocket, or are you just happy to be six feet away from me, <laughs> Duke Nukem? Oh, that's great. Daggers are the most um, beginner-friendly. So daggers are pretty beginner-friendly. Interesting. Is that just their... They do a decent amount of damage and easy to use? Sequels announced like two weeks ago. So the sequels only announced like two weeks ago. Again, seriously, every single time I, I pick up a game, something happens to it. It's either, it either goes on sale or a sequel gets announced. Um... Okay, you will and uh, you bear bad news. Did the house you're looking at, Ozzy, not not stand up to? Uh, what was wrong with it? Because it seemed perfect. So this is a strider, weapons, daggers, bows, basic vocation. This nimble warrior can both mount and attack foes and use a. B I know it means to climb on. I just and use a bow to strike from afar. So ba and this is the mage, a conjurer of magics to heal wounds and target elemental weaknesses. Uh, interesting. Um, Strider is the most versatile. Strider is the most versatile. Secondary ish. I can see. It. Hmm. So, attack foes and use a bow to strike. Like my, I I, my instinct is. Uh, blink strike rushes the target and visits a powerful blow upon them. Wraps the shield loudly to attract the attention of nearby foes. Garlic kisses. Uh, concentrates a flurry of slashes on a single point, easily shredding foes with meager endurance. Three-fold arrow. If I 
Buys three arrows in rapid succession. Hmm. And Strider is a good one. You can change your vocations. I think, um, went with the magic because you like magic. Hmm. Okay. Mount me, Daddy Jeff. <laughs> exactly, Painted Dizzy. Like, it's when someone is like, and then Jeff mounted the character. It's like, wait a second. Fire is going to be tough if you never, um, press left bumper. So, let us <laughs> Look, I am, my, I am leaning, like, I want to go fighter, but I can see that, like, just looking at this, it would give me a few other options, whereas, like, the fighter's going to go get, like, come, like, because the fighter's got, like, the shield summon, so it's meant to, like, draw aggro, and just given the fact that I tend to throw my vice, like, you know, my little people in front of me, um, as opposed, like, I use meat shields, I probably don't want to be the meat shield myself. I know I don't want to go mage, and there's nothing wrong with magic, it's just that I'm always terrible with magic if it's my first playthrough in anything. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so fighter, fighter is the tank, which is, like, my, I, I want to go fighter, because usually they stay up a bit longer, but I think in this game, it's going to be a little bit more like Dragon Age is my understanding, and if I do that, I need to actually play the role correctly, which I probably won't with fighter. Um, fighter can upgrade to warrior, big greatsword and hammers. Interesting. Are oh, you can't wait to see the Pokemon battles? That's what I'm looking forward to. Look, I'll go... I'll go Strider. Because I think that that's the one that I'll probably do the best at actually playing the class correctly in. Take this vocation. Um, big hammers does sound cool though. You can equip yourself with a primary and a secondary weapon. Okay. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essentials. Secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support. Nice. So that's my daggers. And that is my bow. Okay, easy peasy. Oh good, they're talking about me. That's not... I've made such an anime-looking character. Of course. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. <laughs> so what? Just don't mention I... Kina. Kina. Tell me if all changes here. All right. Okay, so... I have no beating heart. That's nice. Um... <clears throat> To be fair, yeah, if I was talking about someone whose heart isn't beating and, like, I turned around and they were right behind me, I would have the same reaction. I'd be like, oh, I see you found your weapons. Delightful. Perfect. It's not literally an upgrade tree. You can pick any class once you get to the capital city and Strider can always upgrade to Warrior. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I can always change it. I'm not marrying the role, essentially. Um, okay. So ju um, just going to give you a heads up. There is loot in the nearby vicinity. Oh, fantastic. Is it, is it her? No, I'll take her. There is always some... Um, Sometimes loot in crates and such, people like you less if you brandish weapons around them. Why ever would that be? No, that makes sense. I do like playing with my sword in front of people, though. I believe there is a chest or two around the area, I think on possibly on a rooftop. Oh, good. Press start to bring up the pause menu where you can check your attributes, a full map, quest information, and more. Okay. So that's my equipment. View your current and completed quests. Newly arisen. You faced the dragon, saved the village. And saved the village? What? Did it get so filled up with my heart that it was like, bye guys, got other things to do? Because, like, I don't think I saved the village. I think the dragon decided to go. Like, I really don't think me starting and getting my heart eaten was saving anything there. But okay, questline, if you want to be like that... I guess I should be happy it's being supported of me. Um, part of the reason I like the class system is how versatile it is. It, it's, it sounds, like, are the others a lot more locked in to what they are? Um, <clears throat> having no heart seems to cause no, pro um, no problem to Jeff, so Jeff could just go on with a daily life. Oh no, can you imagine? Um, you gave the dragon up. <laughs> I like that much, Snake. <laughs> the dragon got up. <laughs> but I do like what Punish is, uh, is uh, saying, because can you imagine if Jeff just went and started, like, going back to being, like, a fisherman in the village or something like that? Um... <clears throat> People don't care if you take stuff that you don't need to smash open with your weapons. Okay, okay. Um, my equipment. 
my equipment, is it? Okay, so this is just rusted dagger, rusted bow, armor for the face and head. I know that, like, that's a thing. I've just, I've never thought of it like a helmet is armor for the face. It's just always been the head. Armor for the face or head. Oh! Oh, good! So, I can either dress as my, pleb my plebeian shirt and set of fisherman's tatters. Hang on. So, I spent 78, 73, 2... Okay, that is less. I was like, maybe I should wander around like this. Do you think that would um, endear me to the villagers? Like, they'd be like, we trust this person. Nothing on my arms. Oh, I can get cloaks! I love cloaks! You never are more badass than when you have a cloak. Can we talk, ma'am? You should be abed. I wish you would not strain old Subsol. I am worried for the Yukons. Oh, are we cousins? That's a problem with my shipping. Oopsies. Um... But threatening is not. Okay. Um. So. What? The chief says your injury could be a curse from the dragon. Really? That's. No, that's not something I know how to hear. I like her. I like that she explained that, like, look, you've been cursed by a magical dragon, and I, random village lady, cannot fix this. <laughs> be a way. Can. There were many wounded, others. Some were not so fortunate. The whole village was worried about you. They'd be well relieved to see you up and about. Perhaps you might go and see the others, if you feel well enough. Weren't you just telling me to go back to bed? I like her. You find oh. <clears throat> Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> no, that's just a term of endearment. Okay, so it's just a term of endearment, just cuz. Hey, cousins is legal, like the saying goes, keep it in the family. <laughs> How many cousins apart are we? Do you know what I mean? Um, yes, interesting fact. Okay, but Shin is right. It's a term of endearment. So it is a term of endearment. We're not actually... Good, my ship's back on. The incest flag has been defeated. We can go forth. <laughs> not a sentence I thought I'd say today. You fight for this village, and here I sit with my hands at my sides. Oh, I feel so very helpless. I trembled to think what the dragon might have wrought. Well, I actually thought she would start repeating lines by now. Burned with cinders, her swift to see like so much driftwood. We all of us appreciate your sacrifice. I didn't do any. Did did they not see the same fight that I saw? Did did was everyone just panicking and screaming and they've run off and like as the dragons eating? Fine, this is mine. This is mine. I found the loot. I'm a hundred percent sure this is the loot you were talking about. Painted dizzy, right? Just these random. Oh, I'm very happy. I've got a large nut. Mm. Excellent. So, can I just destroy anything I want? What do you have in you? Nothing. God, how ungrateful. They've just like saved me, and here I am just throwing everything around. Oh, good. Another large knot. Now I have two large knots. Let's grab that. Um. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda Dark Arisen. Exactly. Oh. Uh, bucket. Oh, the bucket's mine. Broom. Yes, the broom is mine. Finally, I have a broom. I never get a broom. The broom's always not. You can't interact with it in any game. Now I have a broom. The broom belongs to me now. Can it be a weapon? It can't be a weapon. Damn it. Oh, I was so excited. Are you in my inventory then? Where's my broom? There's my broom. A simple sweeping tool. I'm going to take you with me forever. I'm going to call you Sweepy. There you go. Come on, Sweepy. Let's go. What else is around here? Oh, I'm going to take that. I don't know why. I'm just going to take everything, I guess. How did I know that not common would say it? <laughs> the bridegroom, also known as the broom. The broom, the bridegroom. Uh, can I take all your plants? They might be helpful for stuff. Is that your bed? Wow. You guys really do live in a hovel. Anyway... Can I attack? Oh, look at me go. Spinny. That's nice, isn't it? I mean, I look a bit psychotic, but that's fine. When don't I? Okay. <clears throat> so, interesting fact as well. Oh, no, hang on, cutscene.
So I just want to get through the cutscenes, but interesting fact, before I do forget Corvus. <clears throat> we need a nut button sound. Nut! Your progress through the game by completing quests always talk people who bear an icon above their head pos possess special information. Those bearing green icons have new quests to offer. Okay, and can I just- I can just save at any time? Excellent! Oh, brilliant! Okay, okay, good, 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 good. I like games that I can save at any time because I'm chaos-based, so it's- it's helpful to me. Oh, but I don't think I can have multiple saves. Okay, that's fine as well. We can do that. So, <clears throat> before I do forget, um, just have it be the nut button sound. Just the- <laughs> I have a nut! Um, <clears throat> I have a large nut, specifically. Squeak! Whoa. Okay. I was trying to, uh, to go over here. Um, <laughs> that squig was very loud. So, uh, I think in theory, the sidebar should come up. And hopefully you guys can still hear it. Um, so I will say save often because I don't think there's, um, there's autosave. Okay, so save. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. There's no autosave. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> this is what you meant with the, the robot voice. All right, so I should be on the sidebar. You know, I'll just bring it over here. Let me see you guys there. Excellent. Okay, so this is the interesting fact that Corvus has redeemed. Um, God, that's loud. Not for you guys, for me. Um, <clears throat> I will leave it as that, but really, we'll play this the song of the Not Bush. Oh, God, of course it will. Um, so the interesting fact, the one that, that started today, um, because I died once and went back an entire mountain and half it. Oh my god. That would have been... I would have been so mad, Otter. That I would have just thrown the game down and been like, I'm going away now. Like, losing that much progression. I'd be like, nope, I'm out. But thank you for the tip. That is good to know. Alright. So, Corvus, this is the interesting fact. Now, the interesting fact today... Um, it was meant to be short and sweet. But that didn't happen. Um, and for a, a reason that I... Like, I thought... A certain part of it was going to be the most interesting thing, but it wasn't that. So, <clears throat> basically, this is the sinking of the MV Seawall. The MV Seawall was a ferry in South Korea. So, um, basically, in 2000, uh, like the early um, 2010, what happened was this company called um, Chonga Jin Marine ended up buying a ferry. And this ferry had been serving for 18 years in Japan. So they brought it from um, Japan over to South Korea. It was very old. It was falling apart. But that's okay, right? Because um, they can repair it. And so they did. In fact, they decided to use illegal designs to repair and upgrade it by adding extra floors and different size, like different weights and things to it so they could carry more stuff. So they did all of this. And using some fake papers, they submitted it basically to the um, the ferry inspectors who were going to make sure it's seaworthy. And even with their fake papers they submitted, when the inspectors went through, they were like, okay, so what you've done is you've got a left-right imbalance on your ship. Your center of gravity is way higher than it should be. To fix this, we're going to lower the amount you're legally allowed to carry. So <clears throat> they wanted to carry um, about 1,500 tonnes, uh, and they lowered it to about uh, to 1,000 um, tonnes. So, like, you can't go over that. And then they also said you have to have more ballasts. And so basically um, the ferries will have like ballast water in it, a certain tonnage, and that's to sort of help with the balance and everything like that. And they increased that. And if you have a ferry, you don't want to have more ballast because that's less weight that you can carry. But the inspectors told them to do that. And they were like, yes, we will abide by these rules you have said. And after the inspectors left, they added 37 tons of marble, like marble blocks to... Um, the gallery and to uh, the bridge to make it look pretty. So that's not exactly what they were getting at. Illegal designs, yes, as in um, the designs basically broke all the rules, Corvus. Like they were like designs that you can't like to implement them. They were going to make the ship worse. Um, <clears throat> you had to put it down for a minute. One hundred percent, I would have had to. But so what they've done is they've gotten this old ship that's falling apart. They've changed the designs. They've they've screwed it up so it's not going to balance well on the sea. And now they've added extra weight. Um, April uh, 15th in 2014. So the ship did make a bunch of journeys. It made over 200 journeys back and forth without incident, right? But what ended up happening um, on April 15th, 2014, the ship set sail at about 9 p.m. at night. It had 443 passengers, 33 crew. And of those 443 passengers, 
325 were high school um, students who were on a field trip. The end of this story is going to make their uh, graduation class a very cheap affair, by the way. But, um, so there are 325 of the passengers of school children, and the ferry was carrying 2,147 tons of stuff, including a bunch of cars. That is much, much higher than what it should have had. Um, that was over twice the tonnage that it's meant to be carrying. They also, um, out of the crew, 19 of the 33 crewmen were inexperienced, irregular, and um, part-time workers. And the captain was a fill-in captain who was 69 years old. His age isn't really relevant, but it is the funny internet number, so I thought I should mention that. Um, but he was, he was a much older captain. And also, because they wanted to add more stuff onto the boat, they took out even more ballast. So they actually drained a bunch of the water that you use as a ballast on the ferries. And they had only had 761 tons of ballast. They were supposed to have, at a minimum, 1,703 tons of ballast. So they've made it very, very dangerous. The ship's going, and it's all fine, until April 16th, so the next day, at about 8.40 a.m., uh, 8.48 a.m., Basically, the third mate, um, Parker, and uh, the helmsman, Chu, are there. Chu is telling Parker how to, um, like, where to steer and which angle. Parker uh, overcompensates and ends up going left too fast. Panicking, um, Hellman tries to say, um, to, to, to fix it, but, uh, like, to keep turning left. And instead, the third mate tries to turn it right, thinking that they were saying to do it that way. So you've got the ship suddenly doing a very sharp turn to the left and a very sharp turn to the right. What ends up happening, though, is because the ship is off, it's already got this horrible, um, basically, like, balance going on, it's enough to not, uh, it can't fix itself anymore. There's no way for it to actually, with physics, go back right. So it actually keeps dipping and listing, and water ends up coming into the ship. Um, <clears throat> as the so safety, uh, as saying goes, safety regulations are written in blood. Very much, Lunch Snake. So... The boat is now, it's its now taking on water and it's not coming back up. It can't at this point. At 8.52, uh, cause the captains are woken up by this because he's literally like, the, the, the turn of this ship was so powerful, people were thrown out of their beds basically. So this sudden like bam of this turning. The captain's up there, he's trying to figure out what to do. At 8.52, they tell everyone to go back to their cabins and everyone is to stay in their cabins. They're just gonna stay there as the ferry is starting to sink. Now. They don't contact the Coast Guard first. It's actually one of the students who contact the Coast Guard. Um, who does that immediately after being told to go back to the cabin. They end up on the ship realizing that they can't get out of it. Co contacting the Coast Guard close to about 9 o'clock. That's when they finally, like, 9 a.m. is when they finally, like, call the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard, like, oh, yeah, we already got a phone call about that from one of your students. We'll send people. Um... They end up ordering the crew at 9.23 to tell everyone on the ship to put life jackets on, but the crew also say to everyone, don't leave your compartments. Stay in your room with your life jacket, which is not a great place to stay with your life jacket. At 9.33, um, they're ordered to drop all the lifeboats. They do that, but then communication cuts, and about 9.40, um, 150 people threw themselves overboard from the ship. The lifeboats people weren't actually evacuating them. Like the crew weren't evacuating them to there. The people started to panic and just jumped off the ship. Um, <clears throat> now the, the captain and everything, the captain and the two people who were steering that, they're in one of the lifeboats. They actually get saved first. So Parker, Chu and Captain Lee, they all get saved. Um, it turns out most of the crew as well were all drinking beer while this was sinking. So again, this was at eight, like this started sinking at 8.40, um, 8 a.m. and the crew were like, oh, the ship's sinking, let's break out some beers. So the crew's also drunk, by the way. M almost all of the people inside the ship were told not to come out. Um, and they, a lot of them actually stayed there even as water started to fill their compartments because they were panicking. Most of the crew did survive. I'll take a last drink as well. Yeah, most of the crew survived Punisher because they, um, they just got out. Uh, because they were actually evacuating and whereas the others weren't. The South Korean government actually lied to everybody when this first broke, and they said that all the students aboard the ship had been saved. This was covered in South Korea as, like, it was just filled with misinformation on the news. But initially, they're like, oh, everyone's saved, it's fine. This is not true. This is very, very far from true. Um, the Coast Guard didn't arrive until, like, an hour after it, at which point it was pretty much anyone who could be saved had been saved by local fishermen and commercial vessels. But of the 476 people that were on this boat, 
304 of them died. The majority of them, about 250 of them, being the students. So, no, they were not actually saved. Two, at least 250 other students did die in this. And the interesting thing that you mentioned about the safety regulations, Lunch Snake, when they looked into the budget that um, the company uh, Chongkin, Chongjin, the guys who own it, had done, they had a safety budget of $2, which had been spent buying a paper certificate saying the boat is safe. So that's where all the safety things went for this. Um, at the end of the at the end of this, South Korea actually put the engineer who did the illegal changes. He got thirty years in jail, which then got overturned, and he got to go away free with it. The captain, who wasn't even steering at the time, got charged with murder and has life in prison. And the rest of the crew have a minimum of like twelve years for those that were involved. Um. <clears throat> so. Um, they were saved from having to go to school. Indeed, Shin, like I said, their graduation is going to be much smaller when they have that year class graduation. Very cheap. And everyone was saved. Fun fact, this interesting fact about the fairy sinking was not what I actually wanted to bring up today. That wasn't my plan. My plan, oddly enough, actually was to do with another um, religious cult that ends in a murder-suicide of 32 people. Yet that was less interesting than the fairy story. And that I was like, hang on, wait, and that's why you guys have the fairy story instead. Um, the kids doubt. The kids. So the lesson is don't trust engineers because they get out of things scot-free. They do, especially if they're rich and the person in charge of them is very, very rich. And that's because the um the engineer worked for the Chongenjin Marine Company, which was owned by this guy called Yu Bong Boing In. And Yu was part of a um evangelical a Baptist church in Korea, which was an offsuit from the main one, and he had a doomsday cult there, and he was very, very rich. And that's why he got the money to get the engineer off. But that was the interesting fact. Had you heard of that one, Corvus? Um, and do <laughs> had you heard of that sinking? It's actually the second worst ferry sinking in South Korea. But let us get back to the game. Also, can I just point out another reason not to trust boats? I'm always saying don't I want to go high for this. Don't trust the ocean. Don't go on the ocean. And this is just another reason. Don't, don't go out into the ocean, anyone. Um, <clears throat> you hadn't heard of it before. It's a, it's an interesting one. It's definitely like, um, it's amazing how, like, because like, you know, you have to kind of like trust that people stock the fairies correctly, right? And have the correct weight. But like, it's obviously very easy for people to, to mess it up. Um, don't trust the rich. Never trust the rich. Never trust, never trust the rich. Never trust boats. That's what I say. Hi. What are we doing? Wow, I like... Are you... Injured or are we picking weeds around you? What are we doing? I'm not... I don't think digging into people is how you feel. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm going to ignore it. That's fine. Uh, and you can't swim, so you would never want a boat anywhere. That's fair. I agree with you, Painted Disease. I, I can swim, and I don't want to go near a boat. Look, I lived by that rule of my life since my bad cruise experience as a child. What happened on the cruise, Otter? What happened on the cruise? I'm ter I am terrified of the concept of a cruise. Like, I've seen horror stories. A giant metal death boat in the middle of ocean with old drunk people. No, thank you. Um, <clears throat> it breaks out the guillotines. <laughs> Every day the rich look tastier and tastier. Indeed they do. Can we speak? I'd craft dressings for the wounded had I the makings. If only I'd known. Oh, oh, you, yes, okay. Dressings, not dresses. My head mixed that up for a second. I was like, that's a weird thing to want to craft them. You're dying, but you look spectacular, darling. Um, present? A gaily decorated pie favored by actors and jesters meant for throwing, not eating. What? Really? Do you want a pie? Hand? No, I want the pie. This is mine. So if I get you stuff... I'd craft dressing because I need a favor. Okay, yeah. Fetch the flowers I need from outside the village. Sure. I need more of the one you see there. And one other sort besides. The more you can find, the better. Available quests change as you progress through the game. Additionally, you can always consult the quest section of the balls menu for your current objectives. Excellent. 
tastier than spam. Hey, spam is pretty damn good, Corvus. Spam's pretty good. Um, a nicely roasted billionaire must make for great crackling. You would think so, right? You would think you could definitely prep it, prepare them correctly. Here where the red icons appear over their heads are the information relevant to your priority quest. Okay. If you have several quests ongoing at the same time, you can set one as priority in the quest section of the pause menu. Doing so will make all people, places, and things relevant to the priority quest appear permanently on your mini-map. Oh, handy dandy, that is. Um, <clears throat> I've got to go to bed. Got a couple of hours of work tomorrow. Have a fun stream, friends, and see you guys at tomorrow's session. Fantastic Punisher. You have a fantastic sleep and rest of your time zone, and I look forward to the role-playing shenanigans tomorrow. Right Spam is a very tasty shin. I'm 100% with you there. It's very good. And well, one, um, I'm like 9 or 10 and there was nothing for kids to do on the boat. And the pool was salt water and betrayed everything I knew about pools at the time. And I had horrible boat sickness the entire time. Okay, that does sound horrible. Like, you're like, I'm a child. There's nothing to do here. And you've chosen a salt water pool. No, thank you. Um, that is not great. Oh, can I open this? Hi there. Doorway. I am touched by your support. And Positive 1000, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. Bam convinces everyone to follow. Um, hi. Oh, you're so short. As you pick flowers for her. Try just be cautious, cousin. Why? The monsters grow bolder by Oh, okay. I thought you were going to tell me to be suspicious of her and the flowers. Prepared. I do not fancy the thought of you going off on your own, but I trust in your judgment. Do you want to come with me, Pablos? You can always rest until the hour you wish to set out. Ah. Oh. Take care. What can I do you for? Okay, I have to pay you to rest. Manage stored items. I don't have any. Interesting. Interesting. So if I go to my quests, it's I've only got one, so there's only going to be one. Um. Manage stored items. So the rich. The richer, tastier. Indeed. Okay, can I investigate up here? Do you have anything that I can break or take or steal? I can't take that. Ooh, a jug. Yes. Nothing. Well, I just broke that for no reason. I like the idea that my character doesn't have the concept of looking inside something and only knows to break things. Oh my god, a kitchen area. <gasps> yes. Oh god, yes. I'm going to give... The lot, some items can be combined with others to produce surprising results. Experiment and see what you can come up with. I'm going to give the fish to the hot lady that saved us. And I'll seduce her with fish. Women love raw fish. It's their favorite thing. That's the best way to seduce a woman. Just present her like a mackerel or something. It 100%. Wait, is that cheese? Can I have the cheese? I want the cheese. Oh, God damn it. If I got the cheese, I'd be... Hi. Can I... Do you have anything in you? No. Okay, that's sad. That's sad. I can tell you right now, I spent hours upon hours in the bathroom in a horrible cabin and also racked up one heck of a bill continuously going to the ship shop okay, and grabbing m, &M chocolate buns. And look at me! <laughs> oh, that existed. Uh, another reason that you were sick, just constantly eating candy. And thank you so much for the good vibes positivity. Um... You should have free gear. Also, the there's food spoiling in the game. Excellent. I will give somebody a rotted rotted fish. Even better. Don't you think running into people's houses as smashing their pots for loot sounds a little like another game? Maybe something to to link them together. Maybe just maybe just something a, a, a similar similar game. Can I give him? What? Withdraw. A stone that may spirit the user back to the entrance of Bitter Black Isle. Okay. Items fit. Oh, I've got this. Uh, fiend Luring Essence. I don't want that. I have such weird things in here. Oh my god, what's this? Tiara of Enlightenment? I could have a tiara. I'll be so pretty. Rumor. Can I wear all of this? Magic Defense. A Jester's Cap. I will receive this. I will receive this. I I will receive this. But thank you for pointing this out, Shin. So they've got weird things here. Sell the monocle. I'm not selling the monocle. No way. Most of for the DLC era. And yes, you can. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. There's no way I'm selling a monocle. That's just cool. Robe of Enlightenment. Uh, wavering Cloth. Vagabond Armor. 
Okay, so that's magic defense 58, defense 32, 48, 41, 64, 20. I like that one. I like to be a vagabond. Ooh, the lion spine. Let's take this. So when you say it's for the DLC, is it like I'm not meant to have them till I'm in the DLC or I just get them because of the DLC? How many rings can I wear? Magic that they do all the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so there's there's different layers to armor, like outside, inside, depending on the armor. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And it's worth a lot. Yeah, but like I don't know what I want to spend the money on, so I'd rather look fancy. Um, but I can see the point, like if I don't need the monocle. So I have no cloak. The cloak is what I really want. Are these different layers of the uh hang on. I can always come back. As you will. Change equipment. Okay. So I can change it all from quick. Okay, so I can only have one on at a time. So I can either have the tiara, which let's have a look. I mean, I wouldn't really call that a tiara, but you do you game. 98. Oh my god, the Jester hat has the better defense. I mean, look at this though. I'm fancy. Um, because the DLC over the stones and such up near the top, especially for the DLC. Oh, uh, specifically for the DLC area. Okay, fair. All right. Um, I'm a head out. Um, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak came out and I've been addicted. Have a good time. Well, thank you so much for dropping by Lunch Snake. I super appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for the resub. A whole 12 months. Damn, thank you. Um, have fun with Monster Hunter. And have a fantastic rest of your time zone. Okay. I don't know. I like this monocle. But the tiara does seem like the better choice. So with the armor... Oh, I can't wear the robe. Can I wear... Okay, so these ones aren't the layers, then I take it, since I can't... I can't wear that one at all. Alright, well, I'll have to put that one away. Um, So shirts go under chest armor, pants under leg armor. Okay, so I don't... I've got... Like that. But it's... If I'm doing this, it's just taking it to the other thing. So that's defense 141, all of that's going up. I want that one. I like this one. I'm just going to go with that for now. I can always... That... You equipped? Okay. I can always change stuff up, but since I've just gone into the game now... Oh, is this... Staff bearer's ring. Which would you like to replace? I see, I see. Nothing. I'll leave that as it is. Okay. That's fun. We've just played dress up, so... Deposit. I'm just going to deposit some stuff then. I could put my fish in there! Then my fish... I could put my broom in there. No, the broom comes with me. The broom is mine now. Oh, good. Okay. I was wondering if it would do that, but it looks like it actually takes out any of the clothing that I'm actually on. That's very handy. Oh, I didn't put that on. I should put that on. Um. Okay. Change equipment. Excellent. Um. Also, um, the daggerous ring is the only one that does anything for you. The others, uh, the others give me bling though. But fair, good, good to know. I love this armor, by the way. That is a cool piece of armor. Look at that. That's neat. That's brilliant. All right. Never mind. Goodbye. Okay, so we're dressed up now. That's good to know. Let's open this door as opposed to just jumping and purchase equipment or useful items from shops or wandering merchants you can encounter on your travels. Okay, so we'll just save right now. Save and continue. And let's let's have a bit more of an investigate. You can restore health and stamina and advance passage time at any inn or resting spot. Okay, so my health won't like auto regenerate, I take it. It's a um 
it's a, I have to manually do health potions or get someone to heal me or something like that. After accepting a quest, first note the quest marker on your map. Then continue by searching for the required items or information. Quest markers will vary based on time, location, and your target's actions. If you've come to an impasse in one quest, why not try progressing through another? You may find a solution to your initial problem. Interesting. Okay. Oh, good. So that... Select a location with LS... Okay. So I know I need to get out the gate. And how does my way... Oh, interesting. Okay. Because they offer upgraded skills for staff, sword, and daggers, one per ring. One per... Fair. Also, some quests are time-sensitive, require a certain time of day. Okay, so it's pretty involved. Interesting. Alright, that's good to know. So I can't just hoard them in a way. Well, hello, spooky black thing appearing in the game. That's not terrifying at all. Um. Hello, sir. That's not ominous. Hi, are we friends? Did the dragon eat your palm? That man you are speaking with is of the Pawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appeared without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human. Quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell souls. Oh. Myrmidons, they're called. Okay, so the pawns are like actually different things. And a low form, how are you going? Are we supposed to start playing D&D &D in a few minutes and half the people are still sleeping? We are... You're supposed to start and everyone's asleep. That's annoying for me. That's always like that always seems to happen in a role playing group eventually. Everyone's meant to meet up and then half the people are asleep. Um, their weakness disgusts you. Is it a new campaign you're starting, former, or a continuation of an old one? Hmm. Interesting. There's it's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. So the pawns are like not people I people. A fair number of his kind will be there as well. Okay. Why don't you take him? Learn out of why he came to you in the first place. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. Shall do. Um. 7 a.m. I wouldn't hate getting up that early on the weekend. Hi, can we converse? The equipment here in Cassidus will make for a safer trip to the encampment. Like, do I? Do you just pick to come with me and I don't get a choice? Here in Cassidus will make for a safer trip to the encampment. Interesting. Oh my god, I can pick him up! A heavy load will cause your stamina to deplete more quickly. Sell or discard any and all items you no longer need. No. Oh my god, he's mine! Yay! Look at him go! Come on, Rook. Oh. This way leads out of field. Damn it, I can't carry him through the gate. We played that one for a few months. Oh, okay, so it's a continuation. That's good. Getting up to an exciting part, or...? This path should see us there. More of a filler D&D. Because &D. there's always like a filler ca like day where you play the campaign. This game is an autosave function. Periodically saving your game progresses through your adventure. You can always save manually anytime you like by pressing back on the pause menu. Rabbit. The flowers which bloom by day favor the roots of large trees. Okay. There we go. Look. A rabbit. Scrag of beast. Excellent. I can offer that to people. I'm going to seduce that woman so hard with my raw meats. Um, isn't sla- Does that mean you, you can sell him now? I'm not- Isn't slavery like a bad thing? I- I don't know! Like, I'm not forcing him to come with me. He's just decided to. Like, I- I didn't even- Like, we waved. That was the extent of our- Our relationship has been me waving. And him waving back. Why no more? Did you just destroy this cart? I mean, I was throwing things. What are you doing? You psycho! 
It's a bad day when I think someone else is the psycho in the, in the game. Oh yes, clean cloth! Are you going to start destroying things again? Can you not? I'll take that. No, that's mine! I hate him. I hate Rook. Um, yes, that's why they make such a big deal about pawns not being real people. I see. Voluntary slavery isn't that bad, I suppose. If you volunteer, it's not so bad. I don't think I like Rook. Um, he keeps doing stuff. I mean, the game said you could sell a heavy load to stop your stamina drain. So if you pick him up and make it... That's true. You are right. You are right, Electro. Can I sell him? I'm over encumbered. Am I? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god! They are way No, come here. Yes. Come on. Let's go, Rook. Go, Rook. You can do it. Oh my god. Okay. So, Rook has fire. That's good to know. Hey, Rook. Hey, Rook. Rook. Oh. They're kind, height, ice, and fire both. Oh, that went down. Um. When foes seem too much to handle, try gaining levels or obtaining better equipment. You can use some other player pawns and some are free. Definitely worth getting into. Oh, I 100% want more Painted Dizzy, but I want them to be a bit less psycho than he's turning out to be. And hello, Cavillo. How are you going? The pawns will take things for themselves, but you can manage the inventor of all people at the same time. So I, I, okay, so I can manage the inventory of that, that of all of them. Talk to the merchant. I, I shall indeed. But how are you going, Cavillo? Uh... So, a former and Corvus. Cavillo's also a Than of Warhammer, by the way. Um, which is great. More Warhammer people. But I take it you're a big fan of uh, Dragon's Dogma, Cavillo. Um, and you guys want me to talk to the merchant. Kill the merchant. A goblin horn? What? Oh. I'm going to seduce that woman with all the, the goblin horns and fish. You are being wailed on so hard, dude. You have more you want to say. Reynard, a traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. I did they now. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. You have my thanks. Fantastic. Goodbye, Reynard. Ooh! You see peddlers hawking their wares as you make your way around Grand Seas. They often come across rare items not found in the more stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure to check what they have to offer. Can I... No. Okay, that's fine. What happens if I kill civilians? Um... I should have a cape now. I should have a cape. Alright, equipment, equipment, equipment. Ooh, I do. Thank you. A leather cape. Nice. All right. Now we have cape. Excellent. That's all I wanted was the cloaks. We're good to go. So I believe I was looking for flowers before I started just murdering things. Oh my god, look at the bunny. What? No, that's a bunny. Rook, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with Rook? Where is this... Rook, what are you? It was a bunny! What is wrong with him? Um, hey, it's almost 7 a.m. and you're a big hair. I like the whole setting, but the, la um, the last time I played it, I, I noticed that the pawn system is a bit problem because they're not that much individual create pa um, pawns as I remember. Like, you can't really individually create them. It's sort of more what you find is what you get type thing. Um, I think it just game overs you. I think it does. I think it does just sort of like the, the Rook's just gaming over what I'm doing in it. It's a bit odd. Um, if you kill Sylvia, you get thrown into jail. For how long, Shin? And she called Rook a psycho for killing a, a cop, but picking up a boulder and trying to crush an innocent with it. <laughs> I mean, I was doing science. Rook was being psychotic. There's a, there's a complete difference. Like, scientific... Oh my god, a crate. Can I... This looks interesting. It does. Are you going to destroy it? 
Oh, good, I'm stealing now. Brilliant. Can I throw this at you, Rook? Damn it, Rook. Okay, why did that... Oh, shiny. An empty flask that somehow didn't get smashed. Small nuts! Yes! Um... Uh, my problem is, oh wait, backseat gaming is okay. Yes, backseat gaming is completely fine. Just don't spoil the, the plot. Um, is The only solution is to try and give me a chance to figure stuff out, but you guys are free to like give tips and tricks and stuff like that. I do not mind backseat gaming as long as I, I have the chance to try and figure stuff out. Um, I know they use the better attempt. Uh, until I either use the better attempt to escape. Oh, okay. Fair. So if I get thrown into jail, it's not that bad. I'm just getting small nuts now. Is these infinite nuts? Bear what? What is this? What is this plant? This plant has berries, nuts. What? What am I going to do with all these nuts? Um. Can I? I should try. I'm looking for the flowers. I'm not even sure which flower. Uh, hang on. Let's go to the. Look at that. I need to go back because I don't want the fish to go off before I romance her. So. Doing so will make all people place things relevant to the priority quest. Pawns in your party will also offer advice to the priority quest more often than for other quests in your log. I want. That is so this is my priority. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, yep, yeah, think of it as giving. Uh, okay, um, silly added quote. I'm just getting small nuts now. <laughs> you have one pawn that is yours that you can create like your character. So for your last playthrough, I chose. Um, Arthur for my knight. Besides that, you can choose uh, over pawns that other, other players created, but you can guess how they will look at most of the time. It's like MMORPGs. Oh, that's cool! I didn't realize that was a part of it, Cavillo. That's super neat. Um, okay, so I, I will actually get to, like, properly make one for myself. Interesting. Requires uh, Sunbright and the moon glow for a poultice. Alright, so, and if I look at the map... It's not highlighted, any of them. I'm just going to guess around the general vicinity. I shall find plants. More plants for me. I want more goblins, actually. I would like some more murder. That would be great. I don't know why I put that down. Bro! More plants. More plants. Why can't she just make poultices out of nuts? That would be so much easier. If she Oh, look, plants! Oh my god, yes! Come! He just got yeeted out of existence. The large part of the story and lore is dumped on you at the very end of the game, like right before the very cutscene. That's interesting that they would do it. So it's at the end they actually dump it at you, not at the start. That's different. Please don't turn off. Oh, there is an auto. There seems to be an auto save feature. Can I, can I sell this? Like Electra was saying, if I'm carrying it, can I sell it? Rook, stop being weird. Pawns will collect and use items of their own volition. I noticed because he stole my clothing before. Oh, open. Don't you take it! No, it's mine! You suck, Rook! Rook's just like, oh, you open to the chest, but I'm going to take it. Can I? Rook, do you want to do anything with it? Rook. Rook, come back! It's our friend! Rook! Um... I like to use stamina. Oops. I'd be kind of surprised if the skills didn't use stamina. Um. He's just being my pack mule. I know, but I want I want to to take it, not him. Can I? Yes, mushrooms. Okay. How did I? I'm clearly picking rocks, and yet I somehow got a mush. I mean mushrooms, and I somehow got a rock. Step within the light of the healing area. Well, I think I'm in within the light of the healing area. He seems to have put that on me. Yeah, the... What will I get from kindling? What a strange and wonderful log this is. May hold all his no, I didn't want to talk to you. Shut up, Rook. No one likes you, Rook. What are the flower heart masters? Oh my god, don't you take it! This looks interesting. Can I get... What is that noise? Oh, more goblins. Hi. Look at the arrows. Okay, that's neat. Look how many arrows are holding. 
Look at him! He's great! He's brilliant! Um, and for the psycho part, well, it's an older game, so the, the, the AI is, um, is wank as if you uh, attack some of them, they will attack ordinary, for example, uh, and some things, and will cast support things. I, yes, I did notice in the, um, in the, the, the intro that the AI were kind of being a little bit, uh, interesting with what they decided to do. I like it. To be honest, I actually like when AI are... I like when AI are a bit broken. It just makes everything so much more fun, in my opinion. I like when things are a little bit chaotic. Oh my god, are you just... What's that? Rook, look, I don't... Like, the thing is, Rook is being as distract as, destructive as I am. I really, by all rights, should love... I like this Rook. Wait, Rook. Oh my god, bye, Rook. Oh my god, that's so many rabbits. Look at all the rabbits. Holy <laughs> damn. That's a rabbit pelt. Okay. Jesus. More rabbit pelts. More rabbit pelts. Okay, so we did our first quest. So, I believe we did our first quest. We can go back and we can return our quest in. Bring the flowers you've claimed to Benita. Okay. Excellent. Good for us. Um. This path should see us there. To the onwards we go. On into the encampment. No, I want to return the flowers. Actually, what I really want to do is I want to talk to, um... Oh, hey. Why are you sad? I am. So I was a fisherman. I was taking a wild guess before that I was a fisherman. I take it that I legit am fisherman. Goodbye. Haha, -ha, civilians. Um. Okay, so. Oh! Do you have a quest? Hi! Hello! Quest me. Stay a moment. I would not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. Oh, goody. Darkness. I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go in my stead? Sure thing! Oh, God, okay. Happened on the shore ways. Right! I'm good at breaking news to people. You start with good news or bad news and you change you, you just deliver the other one after it. It's great. Let before the beast sounds to shield us. Saw him hurtling through the air. Saw him fall back to the ground. I did nothing. Just watched the poor man die. I cannot face Merin for the shame of it. He deserves to know, please. I a thousand percent will do this. I want to tell Mirren everything. I'm so excited to tell Mirren. <laughs> Gonna lay down a bit more. Um, last week work was a bit hard. Gonna lurk. Well, thank you so much for the lurk, um, Gavillo. And you have a fantastic, uh, a fantastic lay down and great rest of your time zone. Too much of a bother. But thank you so much for dropping by. I right, more questing. More. Oh, mine. I'm taking the holy scrolls. Hello. To be fair, I am stealing from your entire house, so it's fine. Sure. My thanks. It is a sensitive matter. I would ask your discretion. In the wake of the dragon's coming, many of the villagers have come to offer prayers. As a novice and a newcomer, I welcome the chance to be of use, but my scriptures are missing. <laughs> like, I'm there with the scrolls I've just put there, and he's like, the scriptures are missing. Um... <clears throat> Technically, you'll need to fetch another flower when they can only be found at night near cliffs. Fair! Well, at least I can start the, uh, give her some of the quests. Without the text, I... I cannot offer up a proper prayer. The you can't just make one up? Chapel last I saw them. I do not wish to believe them. If you come upon them, pray, see them back. A hundred percent, sir, I will... You can raise your affinity with people by giving them items or completing the quests they ask for you. Performing actions that people dislike will decrease their affinity. I need to go find the woman I want to seduce and give her a fish. Come on. Where... Is she on my... That's not what I wanted. Is she on my map? Is this... Oh, no. Neighbourhood. This is a neighbourhood. That's... A cave that I don't know about. Um... Okay, so I'm that. I'm assuming that that red is like. Yes, I'm assuming that that's where I came from, maybe? 
Um, this isn't believing the scrolls on Elder, nor are they, they sacred usually. I know, Shin, I'm just having a bit of a joke that the, the scrolls are, are meaningful. But no, I, I understand that not everything in here is, is magic, um, magic scrolls. The door is closed. Well, I'm going to go down here and explore the rest of the village. Well, let's keep going. To reset the camera's location. Fair. Okay. Goodbye. Empty flask. Mine. Um. All right. What do we have? Oh. Hi. Do you have anything for me? What would you like to say? Oh my God! You're short. We all really, and you still let me have it. We keep their prophecies. The dragon always comes around. Sure we all knew the dragon was coming and did nothing. Feels like you should have had better dragon uh, protection. What do you have? Ooh. You have. Oh, you have a red cape. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for a red cape. Can I sell you something then? I have lots of stuff that I've stolen. Would you like a spade? Do you want this spade? No. Oh, hang on. Yes. Oh, I can do that. Okay. I'm keeping the blank scroll. That's mine now. You can also have this generous bucket I have. Excellent. There we go. Um... Is the green wash is the healing item? Okay, so that that's the healing stuff. There. I'm just for now just having a quick look because I'll probably like, I just yeah. So I want to keep that because I've picked that up. So I've got that as the healing. I've got the nuts that I could sell her. There's goblin horn, green sea, rabbit pelt. I think there's a few different things. Uh, yes, cancel transaction. Well, take care, minnow. Goodbye. Okay. I just want to have a, a bit of an explore and get to know the um the city a bit better and what I can what I can and can't. I like how the rook is just there talking to himself. No one cares, rook. No one care. Oh, you're a grocer. Oh my god, you have a mission as well. What do you? What's your mission? Please let it be dead rabbit because I've got a bunch of them. Oh, okay. You are of no help at all. Goodbye. Useless, useless man. Onwards. Onwards to the next section. So, I think... Oh, hang on. Why are you... Hi. Oh, that's because you're my quest. Hi. How are you going? Yes. Will make a fine medicine. Okay, so we've got to find the Gather the Moon Glow, and I think Shinyu said that's the one that appears at night. Interesting, but before I do that, I want to see if I can talk to... Is this where she... Oh, hi. What? Cortez is found? I... Oh, it's Marin! This is the dude I get to tell is dead! Yes, he got yeeted by a dragon! This end with valor, Elvar bears no fault in that. He has no cause to blame himself. My thanks, good Fisher. I am sorry this burden fell upon you. I thank My character's like, money, please. Please for the money. Alright. Are you certain we ought to enter someone's home unbidden? Rook, we can do whatever we want. What's we we literally can do anything we want, Rook. It's fine. Trust me. Okay. Oh shoot! I almost just ran straight off a cliff. Dear Lord, okay. I and the AI in this are a dangerous combination. I just want to find where my little village is with that lady. That my starting point. I think we were all the way back here. Yes, yes, it was Adderall's house. Oh, there. No, I want the lady. I don't want you. What do you want to say to me, sir? That pawn will be looking to head away. Why? He's kind of rotten. Okay, so you're just really anti my pawn. He seems a bit um racist towards the pawns, like these damn pawns. I'm just going to take all of that. Thank you for the flask of water. 
Are you in here? Damn it. Where is she? How can I give her the fish if she won't... Ma'am! Wait, I can't seduce you if you won't show yourself. Damn it! Alright. Off we go to try find her again. And it's essentially because um, healing magic only recovers the light grey portion of the health bar. Only consumables will recover past that. Right, so magic will only go to a certain point. That's an interesting mechanic. I wonder why they decided to do that. Like, not just make it so it heals the entire way. Okay, let's go, my dear. To the next section. I really want to find her. Annoying that I'm not sure where she's actually gotten to. I do enjoy that I can break into... Oh, this is my house. I was about to be like, I'm glad that I can break into anyone's house. And no, it's my house. Of course I can break into here. Who's... Who's put the... Yes, it is. And now I've got carrots. Thank you. Damn it. My fish are going to go off and I'm never going to... I'm not going to be able to offer it to her at all. Can I... If I go here... I can't combine my fish with anything. What about this? Can I combine that? Create something unknown. That allows combining. Okay. Well, I can use Jeff item to create something. Yeah, sure, do that. What did we just create? Item to create. Eyedropper. Excellent. We got a we got an award for that. I usually sell the monocle and buy enough greenwasher that I'm carrying 40. Fair. I don't know. I quite like the monocle so far, but like I may end up changing it. I, right now I'm just sort of having more of a um more of a look around to I'm sorry, to, to figure things out. Um, so I probably will end up selling it at some point for the money. Clean cloth plus a rock. What does that create? Absorbent rag. Yes, rocks known for their absorbency. Fantastic. I'm glad that that's what we created. Can I can. I can't combine the food with anything. I thought I was going to be able to combine the food. Flask of water absorb. Use Brooks item to create clean cloth. Okay, that's it. I like that the crafting system gives you an indication of what what it can change. Is anyone down here who I want to talk to? Mm, you've got something over your head. Hey. Where do the curing flowers grow? Have you had a look by the shore? If not now, by night, perhaps? I recall seeing some. The eve of the last full moon. Oh, hang on. So, like, this is the shore. It's night time. Oh my god, fish. Can I get the fish? Okay, you cannot get the fish. Yeah, confirmed. Cannot get fish. Oh, a seagull. Come back, seagull! Damn it. Wait, hang on. Did I actually get you then? Or is Rook getting them? Rook, are you doing something weird? Um, don't go into the water. Hang on. Okay. I have to. I have to now go into the water. I'm sorry. What What happens if I go into the water? I need to know. Um, OSS, which makes you um, take more fire damage. Oh, okay. So, like, if I take the oil damage, then the oil effect, then the clean rag does that. Oh my god! Okay, Otto, you are 100% correct. I need to see what happens. I mean, you'll find out now. I'll find out now. I need to see exactly what happens. What? What is this? Can I outswim it? Nope. Oh my god. Okay, yep. Uh, master, you're back. That's... <laughs> the brine just ate me, Rook. <laughs> I love that. I... Otter, I would not have even thought to go into the water until you mentioned that. Because like, I was like, why would I? I can't swim. But I'm so glad that that's in the game. That's hilarious. Why is the brine there? Why Why is the brine brining it up? I'm going to take that. Oh, cloud wine. We can get drunk now. Excellent. That's all our character ever needed. Just to get completely bonkers wasted. I want the fish. I can't have the fish. Onwards we go. That's an interesting way to stop people swimming out too far. Because swimming mechanic is hard. <laughs> because swimming mechanic is hard, so brine. Okay. So we were looking for... Because they said the glowing stuff at night. Either way, it's fun just to run along the shore and investigate. Hello, see... There! Yes, glowy, glowy, glowy. Gotcha. 
Excellent. So, the quests... Like, they, they, they definitely don't, like, make you have to, like, super duper guess what you need to do. That's nice. Like, it's like, here, if you ask around, they'll tell you where you kind of need to go. You just have to, like, attempt to think a little bit and you'll, you'll be able to get there. So that's grand. Um, cloud wine isn't a consumable. And yet, it has wine in the name. That means it's misleading and lying to me. Lying, lying wine. Okay. Hello, ma'am. I'm ignoring you now. Hello. I need to find, uh, what's her face? Oh, good, she's up here. Oh my god, wait, the daughter might be back. It's night time. Yo, do you want your plant? I have indeed done it. For two types of do you want this one? Oh, that's the one. You found it. Moon glow has grown rare in these parts of late. Tis a relief to see. Cool. Good. That's the both of them. In truth, I am surprised to see them. The camera angle is so odd right now. I'll get to work directly. With luck, we'll have everyone back to Elthia long. Tis your doing, cousin. Excellent. There's little I can offer you in thanks. Say this. Pray, take it. Now to make some medicine. Okay. Oh, we leveled up. Interesting. Save successful. So we leveled up. Thanks for that. Do you want any? All right, bye. I'm just wondering if now, if it's night time, if the chick will be back in her her dad's house yet. Um, you can combine it with any herb to make a healing item. Okay, so an easy way to make a healing item. That's good to know. Oh, good. You're leaving the house. Maybe that means she's back in it. Are you back? Or do you not live with you? Oh, you're still there. Wait, nope, that's a jug. That wasn't the woman that I was looking for. That was in fact a jug. I don't know why I thought that was her, but I did. Okay, so she's not here. Angie. All right. Quite tidy, this room. Um, you can uh, wind up seducing, you can wind up to seducing the Duke's wife. Excellent. So there's a lot of options for what I can do, basically. Uh, let's have a look at the map. So... We've got all of these. Do I have? There's no um, legend. That's fine. There's... Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. So we've got all of this stuff here. I think that's Rook then, I guess. That yellow arrow there. That's slowly trundling after me. What's this? It, oh! There. Okay. But I want... I want the cousin's house. Where is she? Riftstone Pablo's in. Nope, no, no, no. What I'm gonna do is set a waypoint. Yes, okay, and I can have like up to three waypoints by the looks of it. That's handy. That's good to know. All right, onwards we go to the next section. Come on, Rook. I'm growing attached to him now. I both hate and love Rook at this point. Let's go. We've got more interesting things to go murder and kill or not. There he goes. I'm glad that I'm faster than Rook. I think that that's what I find even more entertaining. All right. If we go along up here, what is this way? We have a well. That's right, because I'm looking for the... Okay, so he lets me know that that's happening. Okay, okay. Because if we're at the map, we are nowhere near what I wanted. What... We were following the red thing. We were following something else completely. Can I climb this? I can. Oh my god, I can. I can go on the roofs. That's even better. Get to D&D &D levels of freedom in the video game. So this is about as close as you can get to D&D &D levels. Interesting. That's... Interesting. Like, even more than Original Sin? Because Original Sin allowed you to do quite a lot. Do I take four damage? Well, not if you, I, drop, I drop from such a small height. Do, 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 do. Can I break into this house? That would be... You have to come again later. Why? Why can't I just break into everyone's houses? I'm the newly arisen. I'm more important than them. Can I... Is it because I'm too tall? I feel like there's something around here. 
Oh, a ladder. Nice. Oh, an empty flask. Nice. Even better. Can I? There we are. Nothing's highlighting. It just has this red thing here. Hmm. Can I climb? Surely I can climb this ladder. Can you climb the ladder? Stop running. Stop running. Mount. Okay, I can mount the ladder. That's what it is. Um, I passed the book on the rooftop. Oh, okay. Where? Where is this? Hang on. We'll open this first. Oh, nice. We're getting a lot of gear. Can I jump from roof to roof? Yes. Yes, I can. There was a book up here? Um, the red circle is where the book is. On... I'm not seeing... Do you mean like that there's a, a book down there? A book on the rooftop. Oh, hang on. There. God lord, that's tidy. Jesus. And that's the scriptures. Excellent. Thank you, Shin. Okay. So it was on the, the rooftop. Very tiny. I was looking for something like much bigger than that. Really? To the cha I guess we can go to the chapel. Oops. <laughs> that's fine. Let's go, Arisen. We can do it. I'm going to have to learn this, this village map. It's very, uh, it's very big, the map. Okay, and then that will take us up. We are going the right way, so that's perfectly fine. To the chapel. It, I probably am going to have to go to a... Hi, why are you sad? Where did you find it? Oh, hello, Lewis. I'm glad it's found, but see it back to the father for me, please. Thank you. Did you, did you do something to it, Lewis? I'm assuming that it's his fault that that happened. Ah! I will have to come back at a later time. I like that it has a day-night cycle. That's always good. Can I break into the church? Ooh, can I destroy these tombstones? Can I... I can't grab them. That's a shame. Can I rob these graves? Grave robbing is always great. No. Damn it. Door is closed. Why are you all sleeping? I have graves to rob. Dang it. He threw it on the roof because he's an atheist. Wow, so he's like, I don't believe in this. Throws onto roof. Ooh. Hi. Quite the din rises from the ale house. Might I ne'er engage in such drunken revel. Thanks for letting me know that. Hey, Moxie. I thought to run. They even made a start of it. Oh, was that it? It's no great luck. It pays. Are you just sad and depressed? Okay, I just found the sad, depressed character. That's fun. Ooh, I can take from you. Get all your wares, all unguarded, all for Jeff. Okay, apparently not. Your your wares are painted well. Um, what has prayer ever done for anyone? This is dumb. So I'm going to throw the book up there. Perfect teenage logic, that is. This is dumb. Throw his book away. But it means something to that man. Okay. These are all the stores and everything. That's gate for the way out. Ah, here was like this weird mysterious here. The well's gone mostly dry. No sign of it being used lately. Can I get into the well? No? What are you doing, Rook? Why Why do you like this building? No one's in there. <gasps> oh my god! What are you guys? What are these guys? Like little strange water buffalo thingies. Look at them! Rook, stop it taking their food. He's stealing their moldy apples. These guys are great! Rook, come this way. Okay. I'm glad that there's animals like that. I always love when video games do little animal twists like that, so I'm glad. Uh, I can imagine having a crisis of faith after seeing that dragon. Look, you got a point there, Barry. Yeah, like, if the, if the dragon came, you'd be like, um, guys, th there's a, a legit dragon. Maybe, maybe the gods aren't here to help us. I got hemp. Brilliant. No, no, it's fine. You can fall off the edge. I trust you. There you go. Not even any damage. Okay. I need to go sleep in my house or something, I think. Uh, yeah, for now. I'm just traveling up here. Trying to figure out where my house was again on the map. I think it was this way. Nope, that's just a tiny little chest area. Or perhaps this was where... Do, 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 do. 
the hour is late. Yeah, this is the chief's house. My house was somewhere this way. Um, there is fall damage, but it's kind of hard to gorge. Okay, so it's like, it is there, it's just, you kind of have to experience it before you do. Okay. Poor chest. I'm glad that so many people put random chests around for me to open. I've got to, I've got to say, this is actually very cool. Just the navigation in it, where I can pretty much go anywhere I want, is very neat. Like, there's almost nothing stopping me. Like, if I want to go up, I can just go up. I think the only thing I would say is I kind of wish things were a little bit clearer on the map as to where people were. Can I not sleep in the bed to pass time? Like, I have to go to an inn? I was thinking that maybe if I went to my house... I wouldn't have to do that, but that's fine. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, no, that's my house. Uh, that's my house, and this is... Is this an inn? Fisherman's house. No, I don't want that. Rosa. Fisherman's house. Fisherman's house. That's her ale house, and she wasn't exactly thrilled. Let's go here. I didn't want that. I want do, 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 hit our waypoint and go somewhere towards that location. This is fine. Okay. I think like once I know the map, it won't be a problem because I'm like, oh, I need to go there. It's just remembering where everything is until that point. Oh, it's a nice little store. I guess I could just always make my character wait until goddamn morning. You can see why this is a cut, uh, cult classic. Also, the, uh, the inn is always marked with a moon and a star. Oh, the, the inn is the moon and the star? Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I can definitely... Oh, that's actually all the way up here. Ah, uh, Pablo's inn. Ah, uh, thank you. I, in my head, I was like, magic store, obviously. That's an option for them to do it. Um, no, I can 100% see why. Why it is, like, when people were talking about this, they were like, oh, the game is, like, really, really good. Like, uh, I can see already. They've got some really interesting sort of, like... Freedom, like, it's offering a lot of more freedom than I was expecting it to, which is very neat. Hi. Hmm? Like is greeted. What can I do you for? Uh, rest for 50G. Till morning. So nightfall and morning are the two options. Okay. I like that I have a house here, but I still need to go to the inn. Saving, please do not turn. Okay. So, there's some dead rabbits. Goodbye. Wait. Examine the notice. Yes. Okay, so I can get extra stuff from here. All manner of requests and concerns are posted here. Successful completion of each turn. Defeat 10 bandits. Yes. Yes. Rat catcher. Slay 7 mice. Region? Yes. He should be lucky. Slay 5 rabbits. Oh, I've already been murdering rabbits! Complete your assignment. There's no... Okay, excellent. This is great. I love it. Um, and hello, uh, Deleshina? Um, how are you going? I hope I said your name correct. Um, enjoying Dragon Do uh, Dogma? So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, Deleshina? Yes. Uh, so far, I'm super duper enjoying it. It's... I'm still getting... It's obviously my first time playing it, so I'm still getting used to some of the mechanics and that, but I really like it so far. The, um... The freedom it's actually giving me is pretty neat. Let's go to our map. And then we'll go over here. And, like, I like the world. The world is actually, like, you know, again, it's, it came out, like, 2012 originally. And I think it's it's holding up pretty damn good. Uh, let's just put our waypoint there. Yes. Okay. I look forward to seeing the more I can do in it. I'm going away from my waypoint. This way, Jeff. Come on. We can go murder some more rabbits. It should be good. I'm interested in this pawn system as well. Like, obviously, I've got Rook. Rook, can you... Thank you, Rook. But I'm wondering how... Let's leave. I think that picking up people is one of the best parts. So I'm more ferocious monsters lurk in Grenzi's Frontier. This path should see us there. Okay, so we'll go to the encampment, and along the way, we'll murder th some things. So I'm guessing those bounties are like... Yes, okay. Brilliant. That's two rabbits down. We need three more. Onwards. Oop. Who's an unlucky little rabbit? Whoa. 
There we go. I was about to be like, not you. You're managing to actually get away. Playing this um, game blind gives the best experience. I, I imagine, like, just not knowing too much about it means you can enjoy, like, the story and everything as it unfolds type thing. Because um, I know I know almost nothing about the story, except for the fact that the dragon ate my heart. Which, like, damn him. Ooh. Rabbit. Brilliant. Oh, I don't even have to turn the quest in. It just... Que oh, that's excellent. I love that. It just updates the quest for me. That's great. Going in blind is best for so many games, you only ever get the once. Agreed, Barry. I think, like, a blind play, especially in a role-playing game, like, it just allows your, your imagination to go wild with it. Okay, so we've gotten all the rabbits. We're going to his little pawn village. Um... To go see the other guys who want to shoot all the dragons as well. Onwards we go. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> no, Rook. I'll overdo it as much as I want. I'll run as fast as I want, Rook. I can do... That was weird. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you what I think you are? I'm very pleased. That didn't need to be destroyed, but it wanted to be destroyed. I could sense it. Hey, see, Rook's in on the action. He knows what it's all about. Oh my god, yes, the pot does trigger it. Rook, seriously, could you not destroy the wagons I'm on? Like, there's so many other things for you to destroy, but no, you just want to destroy the wagons I'm on, Rook. Rook, what are you doing? I know there's destruction and then there's your psychotic... Leave some destruction for me, Rook. Quest success upon a pawn. Oh, okay. I've taken you to where you wanted to go. Is that correct, buddy? We got more small nuts. Yay for us. Um, I had a lot of memorable moments in Dogma that feel like a fever dream. <laughs> Without any significant spoilers, do you want to share any? Um, it feels like what I what I'm in. Okay, so what I actually am liking a lot so far is what Rook's doing right now, which is the AI just seem a little bit chaotic, and I absolutely love chaotic AI. Um, like, they've got a mind of their own, and it's always fun in these games where they don't just follow you around and go, like, like you know, stock still the moment they're not doing anything. Like, Rook's off being a psycho. Um, and it just makes the game feel so much more alive when they do stuff like that. I love it. Let's go over here. It feels like, because you can actually, like, you know, you can talk to, like, like get angry at the AI and stuff. Most happened at night? Oh, God. Is night when the really bad things come out? I get a feeling that's going to be the case. I was, I was eaten by the ocean just before. That was great. Otta super suggested it. He was like, totally go into the water. And I was like, okay, Otta, I'll go into the water. And then the water ate us. That's exactly how it went down, right? Um. Okay. Oh, hang on. It must be near. What? What must be near? Ooh, can I talk to you? You're shiny. You've ought to ask. Ask it of Captain Masson. Oh, never mind. Okay, you didn't actually want to talk to me. Where? Hi. Hi. Hello. I fear we. Okay, they don't actually want to talk to me. All right, twisting my words a bit there, but yeah, totally happened. <laughs> It was totally, totally that order. Not, not a case of you being like, hey, the water's dangerous and me totally going like, the water's dangerous and running headlong into it. No, that second more obvious thing that did totally happen is certainly not what happened. Uh, can I touch your rock? Hi. Can I touch the rock? Have all you need? We are an inn first and foremost. We can have your pick. Oh! Wow! Jesus! 300 gold! The other guy was 50 gold! There's dirt outside! What are you going- like, I can sleep anywhere I want! 300 gold? Jesus, dude! Um, so I actually haven't looked at the skills. Enable weapon... Enable skills. Select this uh, category with LS. We're level 4. Okay. Augments. Okay. I don't think I have any extra skills. Never mind, sir. Um, never mind that at all. Discipline uh, points can be spent to learn useful augments and skills. Skills and augments must be enabled in order to make use of them. 
Okay, that's there is a lot to take in, but that's fine. Yes, I can hear your voice. Fantastic. I never question when a talking rock chats at me, so I'm going to say yes. Excellent. God, I need to get a better dagger. Like, I'm just looking at my dagger right now, and it's just this rusted bunk thing. I want a better one. I have this cool metal arm, and then I've just got a... Oh, 100%. My character can do that. Search the area. Select status from the pause menu to view details on your current condition. So this is general. My vocation is strider. Offense skills condition is normal profile okay that's easy be sure to save yes yes save save often auto mentioned that that was a a good idea to to save often there does seem to be some sort of little auto save thing but it doesn't seem to be triggering all that often so good idea um yeah first thing it's like say save often a rift stone a strange power emanates from within what I should check what that quest was. Search the area, me. What did you say? I'm busy doing other things. So quests. What does the... You, you found the two, bring it... Oh yeah, I meant to do that. Uh, check the area around the encampment until you find a threat that must be quelled. Oh, cool. Hey, Rook! You're pretty much a threat. What are you doing, Rook? He's immediately like digging something up. Can I quell you? Jesus, Rook. You go have fun. All right. Who's in danger? What threat wishes to be... Oh my God. Okay. I think I found the threat. Ooh, this reminds me of Monster Hunter, just the giant gate and everyone running towards it. Uh, when foes seem too much to handle, try gaining levels or obtaining better equipment. Are you okay? Do Jesus, sir. Uh, give us half a chance, yeah? Are you. What are you doing? Why don't you do something? Do he doesn't want me to go there. All right, I'll go do something. Let's go, Rook. We can't run away from our problems, apparently. All ready for battle? Stronger, more ferocious monsters lurking grannies from your lands. Dark arisen. I like how fast the loading screen. Oh, he's cool looking. What is he? They're doing a really good job without me. Oh, he's like a cyclops. Again, the design of the creatures in this super neat. Look at him. He's spectacular. I want him to be my friend. Rook, go get him. You can do it, Rook. I'm just going to shoot from back here. I'm not a coward. I'm just afraid for my life. Oh, he's coming. Oh, I'm sleepy and he's coming for me. I don't like that at all. Please flee. Flee, my dear. Flee. And thank you so Thank you so much, um, for the resub, uh, Greg. I super appreciate it. How are you going, by the way? I hope you're going well. Um, <laughs> and uh, we've, we've obviously started and risen. It's going super well. But yes, thank you. Obviously, enjoy having no ads or the goat emotes and the soundboard plus the the, the sub chat in the Discord. Um. This game is well. The game so far is fantastic, Greg. I it's really, really good. It's you, Shin, and a couple other people who were talking about it that really made me. I because I know Drawer had once mentioned to me as well, but you guys were talking about it so much. I gave it another glance, and then obviously the subs voted it in for the next game. Um, if you shoot him in the eye, it will do more damage. Okay, so I can do more damage if I shoot him in the eye. I figured it would probably be something like that, but I naturally shoot at the crotch for whatever reason. But I shall try that. I'm in it for this for the 1.2 art redemption speeds. 
<laughs> fair, Greg. Fair. Do you know what your next art redemption is going to be? Oh, that got his eye. It went squish. He's turned around. Can I? Oh, a goblin. Hi. This is fine. The men will be fine. I'll just take care of this tiny little goblin. Do, 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 do. His eye's gone a little bit red. I like the meaty wax sounds. I got funny internet number worth of XP. Brilliant. I have a hunch but need to workshop a bit. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I very much look forward to it. I'm actually going to be working on Titans tonight, which was uh, Mercy and Moira being tired wine mums after having healed all of the team. So that's going to be a fun one. So hopefully I'll get that done tonight. Did you say fire lend thy kiss? Oh, he's coming towards us. I got his eye again. Oh, there he goes. Oh, his mouth is massive. I like that my arrow is in him. Defeating foes and completing quests earns you more discipline, boosting your prowess and a vocation. Goodbye, dude. Oh. He's probably not a good person, hey? Or she. Could be either. But I'm guessing dark robes. Let us return to the encampment. To the encampment. Right behind us. Onwards we go. To the next section. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Soaring. All right, we'll go back to our angry rock friend. Angry rock friend, how are you guys? Did I prove myself worthy of being arisen? I've killed your cyclops. Akabal, located in the command headquarters of the encampment, provides many different support functions for adventurers. Speak with him to rest and heal your wounds. Learn and enable useful weapon skills or store excess items. Okay, we can do that, but I want to talk to the rock first. Um, can you steal the cyclops eye? Oh, that would be neat if you could. Yay! I get to make my own pawn! Who should I- what can I make? Do I get to name them? I get to name them and everything? Said so the look of your constant companion throughout the journey has arisen your main pawn. Oh my god, there's so much we can do here, everyone! What? Do I want a girl or a boy? Which- oh my god, I don't know. What companion do I want? Um... Damn. I've got I've got Jeff. I've got We've already got Jeff. Make a second, Jeff. Forgot to loot I forgot to loot the Cyclops. <laughs> I got excited and just ran back. I didn't even think about looting the Cyclops, but it's a good point. It probably had the really good loot there. That actually probably would have been a great thing for me to loot. Um, you have a small pointer? What is what is the small pointer, Greg? They don't explain at all. They don't explain at all. <laughs> they just never explain. Um The larger they are, the more they can carry. Yes, yes, ah, thank you, Greg, yes, I, I believe Shin mentioned the more, um, the weight allows, is it the weight, right, that allows them to carry more stuff? Jeff 2.0. Can make, you know what, we'll make, we'll make the feet, we'll make the really in, insane, please enter a name, oh, what can we call you? I could bring Reginald back. We could have Reginald back. I liked Reginald. Um, from Oblivion. Oh. Is Reginald on the list, do you think? Well, we could have Janus. Reginald or Janus? It's going to be one of the two. Because, like, in Oblivion, I used to summon Reginald all the time. I don't think they have a Reginald. Or I don't know how to spell Reginald. It's one of the two. Anyway, it's my name. I can spell it how I like. I could name it Ringo. Ringo. I'm going to name it Rex. Rex is going to be her, her moniker. Reginald Rex. I love it. That's great. I made a tiny guy who could barely carry his gear. Oh, God, Greg. So you're like, this is funny. I've made this tiny character. And then the character is like, I can't move. No, no, no. So, so I want to go back to build. So back. So, should I make, if it's my companion, should I make them as big as possible? 
so that they can carry everything that I want with th with me. Um, some of these are really tall. Or should I make them like really, really tiny? Because funny. Um, because I could make them either, I guess, a magic caster or a tank, right? Like that's the thing. But the tiny ones with dags are so amusing to see crawling all over the big enemies. I'm torn. Do we want to go either make a humongous one, or do we want like a humongous one that can just carry everything? Let's make a big one. Let's make a big one and have it crawl over everything. So we'll go here, but we'll change the actual stuff. And where's the... Yes, that's the voice we're going to use. More details. Let's make them bigger. So edit body. Uh, the build is going to be 100% bulky and 100% busty. That is correct. They need to be... We need to make them as big as we possibly can. Very big. Very big. That is correct. Um... Confirm, and then edit. Go back here. Can I... That shirt? Height. Tall. Yes! Wait. Very sl No. Maybe not that. There. Um, like anti-pawns. Um, <laughs> she doesn't have breasts, just more abs. <laughs> she does not have breasts. She's just more abs. Can we... Am I just creating Jeff from Oblivion? Like, I'm just making it... <laughs> this... This green character. Bigger but increased carry weight too. So, bigger bus and crow. Oh my god, Siri! <laughs> bigger bus increases the carry rate. We can make it... Green and like a pseudo orc that we have following us around. Like, this is fine. People will love this. Um... She can be green. So Reginald can be giant and green. I like that. And then... I just don't like what they do with this. It looks so weird when they put them like that. I'll go here. This seems reasonable. Do you need to confirm after every single change for it to lock in? It looks like they dropped in height there. You are correct. That's confirmed. Okay, you are correct, Barry. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And now... It's working. Okay, I will go back here. That's correct. Okay, I, I like how I got the... Jesus. Like, this is... I'm doing more customization on this one than I did... I, everything looks the same here. None of this looks different. All of this looks the same. Except maybe this one? Jesus <laughs> What are we building? I am, I am holding everyone accountable in chat with me right now for this creation, by the way. This is everyone's doing. This one's more <laughs> Giga Chad porn. Indeed, we're making the Giga Chad porn. Um, she's your Samwise. This one's more important. True, I like this one. I think I like seven. Um, maybe or like no. Three has like. Okay, no. I think okay. Four is quite large. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. 12 is massive. I don't know how to count for your eye crimes. <laughs> orc style adoring fan? Is an orc style adoring fan? What do you mean eye crimes? Are you saying that you guys aren't looking at this lovely orc lady and going, God, she's perfect. I wish all women looked like this. Swimsuit magazines need to have more women like this. Can I... This would be perfect for a swimsuit magazine. Is this bigger? Yes, it is. Oh my god, it's the biggest. Yes. Look at her go! We can increase her leg size too. Oh no, not that. Hmm. Um, eye crimes. Crimes against people with eyes. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little bit of, of crime. Give her really tiny legs. Give her this. I love her. She's great. She's coming along. I think that one. That one goes well. And her stance. So we'll make her really timid. She's she's like anime timid. She <laughs> her biceps are as big as her head. <laughs> she's just super strong, Greg. I love her. She's really ladylike. So she's the opposite. She's the opposite of what we did. Oh, I think I screwed her legs up. 
There you go. She's just she's just a timid little anime girl. Ooh woo. Um Let me fix your leg fix your legs up, dear. I think she needs bulkier legs. But Jesus, not that. There you go. That that matches her body a bit better. Oh, I look at her and think she can carry our loot and me. Exactly! I could ride her into battle! Isn't that what you want in a pawn? <clears throat> Just wait till you get to the voice and you'll really want to dial in because you're going to hear a lot of it. Don't skip leg day, indeed. Oh, the voice? The voice, Greg. I know exactly the voice that we're using for it. Um. Oh my god, we can give her makeup. <laughs> my character doesn't have makeup. I normally wouldn't... Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Look at what we can do. <laughs> We can make her very kawaii. I know nothing about makeup in real life or in game, so I'm just guessing what looks... Can I adjust the makeup? I can adjust the colour. I can't adjust how it is. I was like, can we just give her all, like... Here we... Oh, she's got little... Bl she's blushing! Yes! Change the makeup colour. Oh, okay. I can't do as much as I wanted. Um... Black? Not as... Purple? Um, she looks like she has to pee, to pee really bad. She just really needs to pee all of the time. I never let her pee. She's too busy working. I like purple and it matches the theme that I was going with. She can have purple makeup then. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? When you look at that, don't you just think to yourselves, wow, beauty color adjustment. Yes. Um, oh, we can change her eye color. What- which colour really screams, I want to consume my soul? Well, your soul. Um... No, there's- no, no, no. She could get orange. Orange is a bit startling to see someone's eyes. She could have purple like me. What do you guys think? Do you think giant orange eyes? I think that's quite- quite anime. Like, look at that! That's- that's intense, isn't it? That's not something that's going to leave your dreams anytime soon. I think we'll go orange. Bright orange eyes. And now the hair colour. So, <laughs> orange fits the orc look. We could either go more blonde. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's starting to look like the adoring fan. And hello, Drama. How are you going? You've come just in time for us creating our pawn. Don't you love her? She's great. She's got the most feminine and uh, pose we could make. She's a shy. She's a very shy pawn. <laughs> We're just deciding on the hair colour and that. And I've got to change the actual hair cut. Could go orange as well. We could make her a ginger. That way she's soulless. So we could do that. She could be a soulless ginger. I like that. Let's do that. So she's going to be soulless. And we need to we need to edit her hair cut. Because that's not a hairstyle we want. So what are we going to give her as a hairstyle? I mean, it's not a bad hairstyle. I'm growing attached to it. <gasps> we could give her a mohawk! Wow. Not as cool as I imagined it would look. What about a bowl cut? <laughs> orange or yellow? Orange or yellow? I think orange or yellow would go well. What do we think of this? It looks a bit like Will from Stranger Things. Pigtails. Oh my god, yes, pigtails. Very, very good core, Deish. Very good core. Pigtails, pigtails, pigtails. Those aren't, those are dreadlocks, but where are the pigtails? <gasps> I love her. Thank you so much. She's precious. She is. Um, Deishina, I love it. I, I do not know if I'm saying your name correctly. I hope I am. Um, do you mind if I call you Deish? Because uh, I'm probably going to default to doing that, but let me know if that's annoying or not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a new character so you can summon my pawn of the of the let of this let's play. <laughs> so I can summon summon your pawn in Drawber and be like, and this is Drawber's pawn. Um, Dal should be easier. Excellent, thank you, Dal. Excellent. I have a, a wonderful old, old day. Oh God, that's an Al. Dal. Okay, I'm blind. I just realized I've been putting an I there and it's an L, but I've been visually putting an I. That's why I'm stupid. Um, Dal, thank you. God, you would think I could read words. 
Sometimes I convince people that English is my first language. Anyway, <clears throat> I think she's perfect. I don't think we need to change anything else about her, right? This is pretty brilliant. Like, look at her. She is... She's very shy anime. Excellent. And her voice... Her voice, if we... No, no, no. I want back. Back, back, back. The voice we're going with, um... I think it's edit basic information was the voices. Yes. I'm getting good at this. This is... This is her voice. That's the one we're going to go with. We're going to go with... This is... Reginald, aka okay, that's reading his heart. Reading his heart. He's just like, apparently, it very much is the main pawn. Not making Barry for the main pawn. No, we're not making Barry for the main pawn. We've made um. <laughs> Please no. Please no. We've made Reginald, aka Rex, um, who is our our anime protagonist, and she's just here to help save Jeff. I I don't regret this at all. I love her. Uh, this will be the form of your main pawn. No, no, that's perfect. I love this. You'll be asked a few questions. Your answer will shape your pawn's inclination. Okay. This is even better. I get to... Okay, let's... I'm so excited. This is spectacular. I had no idea you were able to do so much of this. Okay. <clears throat> when faced with danger, which trait will Reginald, would Reginald um, most value in a, in a follower? What I most value, I guess. Not Reginald. An iron will, quick thinking, careful preparation, the charisma to lead others. I... Look, if it's a dangerous situation, I value their ability to absorb damage more than anything. So, let's go in iron will. Because the longer they, they she is willing to take damage for me, the better. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your fellow employee? Kill all enemies, rescue comrades, strike at the dangerous foes, call for reinforcements, kill all enemies. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What would you have them say? Um, did you throw Rook into the ocean to his death? I have not thrown him into the ocean to his death. I wandered into the ocean to my death. Um, she has an imposing presence about her. I'd say Protag. <laughs> She's kind of... <laughs> Look, honestly, Reginald feels more like the protagonist, doesn't she? Inclination sets the pawn's AI. Okay, so that, that will set the, the pawn's AI. Good, 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 good. Um... Leave them to me. Now, master, strike the final blow. Quickly, this way, master. Leave them to me. Your partner turns the tide of the entire battle. Um, do you know what? Leave them to me. As a ruler, which gift would please you most? Oh! Overwatch, but that's not an option. Oh, wait! No, the perfect... Okay. Magic potion that preserves your youth. Oh, that's cool. A brave and just hero to succeed you. No, that's lame. Uh, the perfect spouse, a majestic white steed. I'm very torn. As a ruler, which gift would please you most? The perfect spouse, because my perfect spouse, if they're perfect, can make a magic potion for me to preserve my youth, because they're smart enough to do that. And if they're perfect, then they know that I want a majestic white steed, so they'll buy one for me. So I'm going to go with a perfect spouse. Um, <clears throat> immortality or other, because no, the perfect spouse, that way. Why is this a question about my pawn? Am I marrying my pawn? What? <laughs> Um, oh, you're wishing for more wishes. Much smarter. Exactly, Greg. Wishing for more wishes. If they're perfect, then... <laughs> this is the most ridiculous looking guy. Look at her. I'm going to make her a fighter, I think. I think making her a fighter is a smart thing to do here. As hilarious as that is. Do we want fighter or do you guys think mage? Which do you think would be the better one to use here? Um, thank you so much for dropping by, Greg, and I appreciate the lurk. You have a fantastic time at, uh, work or what have you. Is it work? Or are you on a wonderful weekend? Um, I'm just, I'm torn between either the mage or the fighter, because the mage can heal. Fighter, you want her to be a fighter, she's going to be your tank. Um, true, I just was wondering, like, because it is kind of funny if she was a mage. I don't know if I want to do it for the memes. I probably shouldn't. Looks like a fighter to you. All right, we will go fighter. We'll go anime girl fighter. You get two more other people made. You can pick a mage from them. Fair enough. Okay, fighter. So Dal, you're also saying fighter. We're going with fighter. She is our fighter. Excellent. <clears throat> She's bigger than Jeff, I think. Oh, you know, I... Oh. <laughs> that comes down from the heavens. Can you imagine? You're like, where's my pawn? And <laughs> it's... 
reaction is exactly the reaction I would have the <laughs> like out of existence. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can understand why Dre Jeff is a little bit like, um. You can also change your pawn's vacation later. Excellent. Okay, so I can change that later. That's <laughs> lovely. Having been recognized as a Risen, you have been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strengths, so you support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. In addition to minding, uh, minding levels and available skills, a pawn's knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Pawns with appropriate knowledge of quests or foes can provide helpful advice and battle strategies. Reginald? Hey, Reginald! <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring you out into the oh. A master and his pawn. Yeah, who are you? Oh, should be using my controller. I was wondering what, what was going on there in my brain. You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. Okay. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. All right, so practice man. Um, oh, I want to touch the rock again? If it'll let me? Oh, okay. Um, you could only have three pawns. Interesting. So I want to touch the rock again. Okay. Can I keep? I can't keep creating them, can I? Hang on. Are we? Oh, we're somewhere else. Okay. Look at her. This is, come here. Reginald. Reginald. Good girl. <laughs> I love it. There's just, I love the little skull she has on her belt as well. There's just something about that with that haircut and that case. Oh. Uh, um. Also, uh, follow that guy to the the start of town for law. Oh, okay. So follow him for for law. The men of the enlistment corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Interesting. When I'm ready, excellent. Okay, I'll do some training with him. I'm a harsh master, whoever the king. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle. Here. If it's sex appeal, I have Reginald. Um, I'm just gonna start working now, lurking for real. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. <laughs> And bad joke shin. Okay. Give us a yay or a nay in the comments if you think this joke is funny. Shin, this is your joke. Your name goes here. So, what did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? Nothing. It just gave out a little wine. So, let me know. Yay or nay in the comments if you think that one was funny. What did the, what did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? Nothing. It just gave out a little wine. Brought to you from our wonderful bad joke book. That's a yay for you, Barry. I, you know what? That one's decently clever. You missed it. You missed it, Shin. So, <clears throat> what did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? Nothing. It just gave out a little wine. That's a yay. That's a yay. Excellent. Okay, I'm thinking towards yay myself. If no one else counters it, I think we've got a yay there. You can choose among them. The first task is carrying freight. Interesting. That's a nay from Corpus. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great. Many hands lighten any load. We'll begin as I'm ready. Is to hold okay, that's a yay from Waterbox. I think I think it's a yay. It's a yay all round from the looks of it, except Corvus is nay, but it is outweighed. So Shin, you got a winner there. That is a yay. Um. <laughs> okay, so you want me to pick stuff up? Oh, Corvus. This game, this game has already met and exceeded my expectations for playing it. I'm so happy. I'm just so pleased. You want me to pick boxes up? Can we just smash the things? Are you going to be timed? Oh, please don't be a timed event. Move the cargo. Okay, go! Go, peasants, go! It doesn't seem to be timed. Do you think I could just leave everyone? 
Um, <clears throat> let me just grab this. Okay. Pick up items or enemies. You can uh, restrain or throw targets or press R2 again to put them down. Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, that voice! That freaking voice! I can't! Why did I... <laughs> it's... Okay. Well done. Meet each challenge <clears throat> with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior of force. Next is combat training. You'll face my... <gasps> it's so squeaky. Arms. Destroy them before my count ends. A large room will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. Okay, <clears throat> I'm ready. About destroying uh, <clears throat> get them all before my count ends. Sure. Destroy the scarecrows. <laughs> go, Reginald, go! Jeez Louise. Is that. Oh, this one's up there. Okay, I, she's the greatest. She's just... <clears throat> I'm ready. Okay. All right. Okay, you take the ones that are weak to magic. Reginald. Jesus. Okay. I Her voice is just absolutely brilliant. I'll fill it with a spell. Force. Is she just saying force alone will topple them? Like, it literally said part of this one was that force alone would not topple them. That's. He always sounds so upset. Okay, we didn't do that one. Um. <clears throat> and with the rusty starting weapons, no less. Or are you talking about Reginald? I'm talking about Reginald. Reginald's insane. Look at Reginald. Oh, do you want me to? Did I not? We'll begin as soon as well. Okay. Reginald, this time. Oh my God, Reginald, there's one right there for you. You can do this, Reginald. I believe in you. Like she's being semi-effective. What else do we have? Did we get them all? What are you? Nope, there's more. Okay. I'll fill it with a spell. Enough. We have to keep the rusty starting weapons in storage for later. Okay, keep them. The Whenever he says enough, he sounds so mad at me. <clears throat> so don't sell them, just keep them. Okay. Excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> I never changed the party. <laughs> I just actually started aiming. <clears throat> you have trouble. Examine your party. No, my party is perfect. If your strategy seems toothless against your foes, try changing your party, make up enabled skills and equipment. Okay. I've learned what to do in this quest. <laughs> I'm so glad you two know what to do in the quest. God, I love her. Okay. So Let <laughs> Just this anime voice is going to be stuck in my head. Let's go touch that rock. Until I have the materials to upgrade them. I'm looking forward to upgrading them. Oh, this is a rift. A space between realms from which any and all manner of pawns may be found. Oh, so like... 
if I if someone has the game like uh, Drobo was saying, you you can upload the thing and I could find it here. Speak with the pawn. You may hire only two pawns onto your party at any one time. They can then be discharged by speaking with them again. Hi. Terrifying people around me. Hello, Charlin. God, this is weird. Summon more pawns. You may hire only two pawns onto your party at a time. So if I have Rook and my constant, I don't want Clover. Why would I want a child? I mean, Charlin looks like he's me. Are any of you mages? Hey, Rook. Garnet. Garnet's probably a mage, I imagine. Yes, it is me. Okay. Yeah, which is what, um, why you want a unique pawn. That way they get picked by other people. Do you think people will pick my pawn? Will it let me know if anyone sees Reginald and they'll pick her? Like, do I get a little notification and they're like, Reginald was picked? Um, <clears throat> and talk to the innkeeper in the camp. Fair enough. Talk to the doctor, someone friend pawns. Okay. If we spent, um, to buy higher level ones. So, okay. So should I get one now or just like, well, it's zero RC, so I'll enlist you. When are I covenant with this pawn? Yeah. I am honored to travel with you. Welcome, Garnet. Cool. Touching the stone lets you to seek and summon pawns or return to your realm. Consult the history in the pause menu to view a record of all the pawns you've employed. Well, I didn't really like the rest of the others, so I'm just going to go exit the, the thing. Because <clears throat> I've got... I've got Rook. I want Rook. So I've got Garnet and I've got Reginald. If I get another one, wouldn't that mean I'd have to get rid of Rook or Garnet? I don't want to get rid of Rook. Um, I've enjoyed, like, Rook I disliked at first, but now Rook's, like, none of the other pawns actually looked that interesting. So until I find one that's better than Rook, I'll keep him for now. Um... I feel familiar with this area. We've wandered around. It's like, you just got spawned into existence, Reginald. Slow down. <laughs> Reginald's so special. Seems the soldiers makes their beds there. It's like, it's a sleeping area. Yes. Well done, Reginald. That's where the people sleep. There is... Command headquarters. There isn't a... Inn symbol here. Um... <clears throat> oh, that was the guy I talked to before, the guy in here? Um, yes, I did talk to him, but I was like, I don't want to pay his cost. Sleep in the inn to update your pawn and know if someone hired them. So that's how it... Okay! So if I sleep in the inn, it updates the pawn and I know someone hired them. Rook is low level and doesn't ever get stronger. But that's fine, Robert. I'll move him out eventually. But for now, I'm okay with leaving him there. Um... I can see, like, if they're like, we want you to change him out. Just none of the other ones really caught my eye. So I'll change him out eventually. Can I hire her? I want Mercedes. Can I have you? Can I make you into a traveling companion? I'm just awesome. The dragon is come. I'll welcome any help, be it pawn, a reason, farmer, or fishwife. Make use of the encampment as you please. Are you in need of rest? Not now. Come again whenever you ah. <clears throat> Talk to not Casca. Talk to not Casca? So you're saying I shouldn't talk to the like I'm assuming that this is who you mean by not Casca, as in um from guts. I'd assume. Uh so that's the in person. Um <clears throat> Can I give you a fish? I've had this for a while and I wasn't able to give it to the woman I wanted to. Do you want some steak? Ah, thank you. Core skills are new as soon as they learned. Don't forget to enable skills and augments from your main po main point as well. Oh, hang on. I forgot I just gave you food. Learn or set skills. Oh, that's cool. Dashes past the target with blades, extended delivering slashes that can be followed with further attacks on contact. Um. 
<clears throat> she will she will treat you the next phase. Okay. Um, for a specific reason, more than welcome. But uh, we want to get into fair. Fair enough. It can. It's always that the fine line between the two because obviously you guys know what's coming up. So it's like no, don't waste here. That's a, a boring thing. Go over there instead. That sounds cool. Like the triad shot is cool. Buys three arrows and a wedge pattern. But that's cool. I have money. Like I assume that's that's one I already have. Four skills. Performs a swift and deadly double strike forward, topped off with a whirling slash. Requires less time to knock the next arrow. Oh, that's kind of handy. I'm going to have to think about these. I won't... Because it is actually close to when I do end up calling the end of the stream. So I'll just have a look here, but I won't make any commitments on anything just yet with the skills. Um, I just want to have a look through them. Enables you to clamber up cliffs and other terrain more quickly. That's handy. Extends the limit of your stamina. Oh, that's... That would be very handy. I would like to stop running out. Uh, I want to learn skills, but for Reginald. Um, <clears throat> those are the ones you have. The ones you have will be crossed off. Will be crossed off. Will it be today? Isn't it? Don't I have triad shot? Is that first? Oh, no. I'm thinking because the one I do have just shoots a triple skill. Right, that makes sense. Okay, I'm just, they're just similar in description. Mine's just three arrows in quick succession, but that's in an actual wedge shape. Yes, now I see. Okay. Dash is past target. Those do look interesting. Um, I might, does she have any skills? What is that? Dire Onslaught. An advanced form of a base skill adding a new pattern to chain swords. Interesting. Advanced form of a base skill that can tackle to force with jab. Shield. Oh, she has the shield. Strikes blow with the shield that causes a little damage, but forces the target to drop their guard. Unleashes a barrage of strikes using the shield. And cuts broad swath with the blade while falling back to avoid attacks. Lose a f loses a flurry of skyward slashes, well suited to bring flying foes to the ground. Damn it! Which. Hmm. I'm wondering which would be handy. Like, having her be able to attack something in the sky sounds like it would be handy. I'm so torn onto what to get her. I think... Unless she's a barrage of strikes using the shield. I think I wanted to have the Skywood Slash. Bringing flying foes to... I don't know. Do you run to a lot of flying foes in this? Or would broad... Do you think broad cut would be a better choice for her? Um, birds exist. Birds exist? You know what, I'm going to take that as advice of you want to attack things in the sky and I'll give her the sky with Lash. Just in case birds exist. So, you can have a sky with Lash, I guess. That can be your... Is that a good or bad idea, guys, with this? To give her that so early on? Like, I imagine she'll get more stuff so I can change her. I will go with yes. Okay. Um... Good. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to get that. And I guess I could give a, a blow with the ship. No, I'm, not, I'm going to save up for the next. Good, good, excellent. Okay. You thought those words were faked by the government? Okay, so I'll save up the points. Yes. Okay. Can she? You can only have one attached at a time. What will it be today? Jesus. Um, just wing it. The points aren't as important as you think. Oh, okay. You're going to be changing vacations more likely anyways. Oh, well, fair enough. Look, if I'm going to be changing vacations anyway, I might give myself more endurance so that I'm not running out as much. There you go. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. What will it be today? At your pick, a new line. Come again soon. I hope someone downloads my character. I really want people to love Reginald. Um you can set three skills per weapon. Okay, hang on. At your pick, a new line. Learn or set skills. Set skills for this. Why is it not a... 
Okay, so it wants me to go down to do it. Okay, that's fine. So it's just getting the UI to do what the UI wants. That is okay. All right, that makes sense. Right. There we go. Okay, just a little bit. It's always that thing whenever you got like a new stuff like that. It's like, what button do you want me to click to do the thing? No, but that's that's fairly explanatory. Okay, so we'll save here. Now, who was it, Dal, that you wanted me to talk to to follow? Was it that guy at the save? Successful. It was the... Do -do 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 -do. Where was he? So you guys are saying don't talk to her just yet. Oh, there he is. I think. You all look the same. Nope. To ask. Ask it of Captain okay, so I do need to talk to Captain Mercedes. They're just ignoring me. That's fine. Where, where is Reginald? Reginald! Reginald, there you are. Hey, Reginald. How are you going? Uh, the water figure, follow him to start uh, to the start of town. Is he outside? Actually, can I? If I go outside the gate, she's so, she's so tall. It's amazing. Um, I bet she smells bad. Yes, uh, poor, poor, a new area has been unlocked. Visit the Casadri Pier at night if you would see it for yourself. Wait, the hooded figure like from the Cyclops thing? Um, the merchant. Okay. Damn it. Okay, they've they've definitely taken my Cyclops away that I forgot to loot. Damn it! I wish I'd remembered to loot that. Jesus, where did you jump from? What are you doing? What are you doing, Reginald? Garnet's perfectly normal. Rook's just being distractive. Reginald's like hyped up on sugar or something. Um. Okay. Yeah, wrong road. Oh god. Okay. Where is the hooded figure to follow? Like, I think they walked off. Let me look at the map. So are you guys saying, like, this road? Hang on. Like, are you saying go out this road here and like follow that one for the hooded figure is that what everyone's saying i'm just a little confused as to what exactly we're we're wanting um but it is about the time that i do wrap up um let me know uh do 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 because we will be back to this tomorrow uh the other one oh okay this one this is the one that we want this is actually kind of handy having the waypoints um he's in the camp oh okay um and he's he's somewhere in the camp there i can always come back um oh i don't want to talk to her i don't even know what that goddamn merchant looks like anymore dang it Mer you're not the merchant you're just some person. Okay, so I'll go... I keep thinking they're merchants. Oh wait, hang on, you're the merchant. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're the merchant. Fair. I like it well. Now, let us talk of business. You'd be a fool not to have a look at my wares. Enhance. Okay, so that would be if I wanted to enhance my rusted weapons or something and that could up the level, yeah, so they get better, but that would be kind of a waste of time because, like, no, they're rusted weapons. Do you have anything cool? Oh, okay, so I can get stuff from him. You have, ooh, throat cutters. Those are probably better than what I currently have. So I'm guessing these are just base ones I can get. So if I get that and I get a short bow, then I at least have updated stuff. Okay, so I've got gold. I can do this. Um, so let's buy this. Yes, change my equipment. Okay, so weapons. Let's go with short bow and... All right, now I have... Decent weapons. Um, the rusty weapons at max level get the best status effects. How? Why do they get the best status effects at, at max level? 
That's so odd. Like they're like keep the rusted ones. They're great. I will I will put the rusted ones away in storage. Ah. And this is the person we're following? Okay. So we'll follow these guys back to the other base, and then I will call the, the game, the stream for today at that point. But we will come back to do this 100% tomorrow. Um, I'm so pleased. Come on, Reginald. Let's go. You've got this. My god, this is such an odd little group. Times are hard indeed. I'll just interrupt the group here. Come on, guys. What a fun journey. They are turning back. So maybe these are the wrong ones. Oh, nope. They're just falling in line. Interesting. I like the AI so much in this. Um, They get to uh, Toga, which slows down enemy attacks and movements. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds very handy if they're actually being slower. This is a night. Who's out of breath? Was that Rubrook? Are you serious? Um, they're just patrol guards. They're just patrol guards, so they're the wrong ones. Okay. Well, I'm... He's found kindling. At least these guys are finding stuff. Oh, goblins. Go, Garnet! Damn! Garnet's like, I'm in there. Go on, companions. Go. Service me. Oh my god. <laughs> Excellent. Is he, are you? <laughs> I love it. That's absolutely wonderful. Oh, there are the patrol guards. It sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks are playing D and D. I know. I know, right, Greg? It's so high pitched. It's so high pitched. Okay. What I do is I'll, I'll call it here. Um, I'll call it here because I've, I've clearly missed the person with the, the thingy. Um, but I just want to see what happens. Performing actions that people dislike will decrease their affinity for you. You don't say. Aww. He disappeared. Damn it. I was hoping to get like a kill or something, but no. We didn't get one at all. Oh, a rabbit. No, never mind. All right. That's fine. I, I thought like one arrow might be enough to kill them, but apparently not. I cannot attack my companions. Good to know friendly. Oh, I didn't even mean to kill the rabbit then. The cutscene starts when you enter the town. More. Oh, when I enter that. Okay, hang on. Can I load the game? I can't load. That's interesting. Because now that I've made, you know what? Screw it. Some civilians can be mad at me. It's fine. Let's get into the cutscene then. Is your the other, the others will, and they shall treat you well and kind. People can just be mad. It's fine. I just shot a few arrows at people, and I'm sure they'll forgive me. It'll be totally okay. Ah, a venerable Arisen returns. Ah! Come to lead the pawns in a quest to slay the dragon. You are so clearly evil. The Arisen is always drawn to the dragon, as puppets strung in fate's own strength. Well, he does have my heart. There's a reason for it. It's not like I'm just doing it for a dalliance. Okay, Darth is... <laughs> the Sidious is here. Um... Arrogance. The dragon is ever born anew into the world, and with it too, the Arisen. All Arisen seek out the dragon, but lucky are the few who attain an audience. While yet they live. <laughs> is that what freaks you out? You've seen Reginald. It is more frail than man. Like what? In yon encampment, they gather up their knights and hired steel. They think to grow their numbers and hunt the dragon. That won't work. But they shall soon learn. Okay. Well, well, well. He's an interesting chap. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. 
I do like him as a villain. Like, I love when you get villains that are just so clearly the evil villain. Like, you just have no doubt. You're like, yes, that's the evil one. Um, it's like Wormtongue from um, Latour turned into a Sith Lord. Ex yes, Greg, that is the perfect description, isn't it? That is so, so accurate. That is exactly what it is. I could have saved and quit. Quit game without saving. Yep. Okay, I have got to say, um, I am so happy with Dragon's Dogma so far. Checking saved data. Can I... Launching it offline. Can I quit? Or did I accidentally, like, say reload my game? No, there we are. Exit. Yes. Okay. So many steps to get that to exit. Oh no, what have I I'm trying to bring you all over here onto the other screen for me. There we are. We're all here. Hello. Um... That cuts in his very- So, do a lot of people, um, Dal, just like, they they go on the journey elsewhere and they just completely miss that cutscene? Because I would have thought it would force you to do a cutscene like that, but... Thank you for pointing it out to me, especially if people easily miss it. I have a tendency to miss things, so thank you, I appreciate that. Um, uh, you've never gone back, Greg? Oh, okay, so you've just never gone back. See, okay. You missed, you missed it during your playthrough? Well, thank you for pointing it out for mine. Isn't that a DLC cutscene, though? Oh, is it one that, like, sort of... I've obviously no idea myself. Nope. Okay, so it's just one that a lot of people miss. That's interesting. Like, they've got this thing, this cutscene, but a lot of people just miss it. Um, so, I've got to say, I'm so happy with how, um, with, with Dragon's Dogma so far. I was excited to get into it just because people had like sort of hyped it up a bit and we could create our own character so I could create Jeff again because Jeff's my ongoing character I always create. So I was excited for that. And then I was like, okay, it's a bit of an older game. It'll be fine. You know, I liked Oblivion a lot. So I've got to say Dragon's Dogma though, I really, really dig it so far. Um, just the way that you can move and climb over everything. The fact that I can make you know, Reginald my horrible, horrible, wonderful companion um, and stuff like that. I like the... I like the idea behind it as well. Like, the dragon's taking my heart for something. I'm this risen thing and looking into it. So I look forward to finding out more about the Dragon's Dogma world. And I like the system so far. From what I've seen from the skills and everything, like, it's a lot to... It's a lot for there, but it's also fairly straightforward. So I'm looking forward to getting to know that better. But, um... Thank you all so much for, for jumping in and joining me, and especially for those who did um, give me little hints and tricks as well with um with the game, just stuff to look out for and things. I do really appreciate it. And a big thank you as well to those who do lurk and uh, to those who do watch my VODs. Um, and thank you so much as well, Dal, for the follow. Uh, <laughs> that's very cool of you. I am um, touched by your support. And... So yes, like I said, we'll be back tomorrow with more Dragon's Dogma. It's going to be our um, open world. Um, you enjoyed the stream? I'm so glad to hear. I'm very glad you, you enjoyed it. I um, will be back with Dragon's Dogma tomorrow. I stream every Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, and Tuesday. That is not the way you should list out days of the week, but I just did it that way. Um, on the weekends, it's our open world. So anyone who's really like Dragon Dogma and wants to see more of it, it will be on each weekend I do. So that's Saturday, Sunday. Tuesday, Thursday, this coming week, though, is our Railroad game, and that's Prototype, as voted in by the subs. Did you beat Red Faction or Hitman? I beat both, Greg! So we finished Red Faction and Hitman Blood Money this week. Fun, fun games. So, um, Hitman was on Tuesday, uh, Red Faction was on Thursday that we finished both of them off. So, we're ready for Dragon's Dogma for the foreseeable future, with Prototype as the Railroad game. Um... So that, I'm looking forward to Prototype as well. But that's just a, a what's coming up with the schedule, everyone. Anyway, once again, thank you all. You have an absolutely fantastic rest of the time zone, wherever you all are. And I will catch you next time. Bye.